Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to explain about one of the most popular agile management tools available in the market, that is Jira. So let's get started. To make your learning better and easy, I have divided this session into two parts. In the first part of the session, I'll explain all the agile concepts that are required for understanding this Jira tool better. Whereas in the second part of this session, I will practically demonstrate this Jira tool for agile management. Now let's get started with the first part of the session where I am going to explain all the agile concepts that are required for understanding the Jira tool in a better way. First of all, what is agile? Agile in simple words means quick, fast. As you can see on this image guys, okay? Agile simply means quick, fast, okay? Then, what exactly is this Agile? Now you know the meaning of Agile, right? Agile simply means quick and fast, okay? Then what is Agile? Technically speaking, guys, Agile is one of the SDLC model, okay? So throughout this session, I'll create a mind map. So let me launch the mind map, which is there in my machine. So in this mind map, I'm going to design this kind of mind map and uh, throughout the session, I'll keep on updating the mind map, guys, so that you can follow the session properly. As you can see, the mind map software has launched. You can also get this uh, mind map software for free, guys. Okay, just type uh, xmind and uh, you'll get this xmind.net. Just scroll down and go to the footer options of this xmind.net page. And here you will see some option known as xmind8 classic. Just click on that and here you will see free download. You can download this and install and use the software as I am demonstrating or using in this session. Fine. So fine, the mind map is now open. So what I can do is uh, I will start explaining about Agile guys as Agile is one of the different SDLC models. Okay, there are different SDLC models guys in that Agile is one of them. So here I'll write down, I'll say new blank. I'll create a new mind map. Here I'll mention SDLC models or software development lifecycle models. In short, it is SDLC models guys. Okay, so I'll just change one theme here so that uh, it looks good on the screen. Let me go with a the proper theme. I'll choose this one, done. So let, let's uh, write down the different SDLC models we have in the market, guys. So first one is waterfall model, the traditional waterfall model that everyone knows, right? After waterfall model, we have prototype model, prototype model we have, then incremental, iterative and incremental model we have, iterative, or incremental model is another model. Then what are the other models we have guys apart from waterfall, prototype, iterative, we have spiral model. Then we have V model. Then we have a rad model. Then we have big bang model, big bang model. And also we have agile model, right? This many models we have, right? So let me cross check whether I have covered all the models or not. Waterfall, prototype, prototype or prototyping. You can change it to prototyping, it's better. Proto typing, okay? This is another model. Then we have incremental and iterative model. Instead of R, I can write and here, that is better. In iterative and incremental model, spiral model, V model, agile model. Rad model, Big Bang, okay? So apart from this, we can also have other models also. So others, okay? Simply I'll say others. These are the known models. So what are the models I listed down in this mind map? Those are the known models. And as you can see, guys, Agile is one of them, right? Agile is one of the SDLC models we have. I'll increase this so that uh, it will be big. I'll select this and change something here. So I'll change it to balance map up to down. Okay, here we have the Agile model, guys, okay? As you can see guys, this Agile is one of the SDLC models. Out of all the SDLC models, Agile is one of them, okay? Agile simply means what? Quick and fast, okay? Uh, when I compare the Agile SDLC model with other SDLC model, the type of development or delivery of the software in case of Agile SDLC model is very quick and fast. That's why Agile means quick and fast, okay? Fine. So in simple terms guys, Agile is one of the SDLC models we have, okay, in the market. and uh, 
which is a faster way of developing the software and delivering the software into the market compared to the other SDLC model. So why Agile became popular in the market then? You see, out of all these SDLC models we have in the market, 90% of the projects are using this Agile SDLC model. Okay. 90% of the projects in the market are using Agile SDLC model because it's kind of faster in development and also it will deliver the software very fast. Okay, compared to other SDLC models, other SDLC model applied projects, Agile projects are delivered very fast. Okay, they are developed very fast and delivered very fast. That's why it's kind of popular in the market, guys. Okay, 90% of the projects use Agile SDLC model for their development and other activities. Okay, so so these are the below uh, the below are the different reasons guys why agile sdlc model is has become popular in the market so if you if you go with some applications like amazon flipkart right nowadays which kind of applications exist guys okay amazon flipkart are few examples of the applications with, that we generally use these days right so these applications are very adaptive to the changes okay so if Flipkart has cash on delivery, immediately Amazon also will have cash on delivery, right? In in just fraction of days, you will see the lot of functionalities getting added to Amazon and Flipkart and their competitors, right? So these kind of applications nowadays in the market are adapting to the changes, okay? Very quickly, whatever the changes that come into the market, very quickly, those features need to be introduced into Amazon and Flipkart kind of applications nowadays, okay? The applications have to be so adaptive and quick in adapting the changes. So if you compare this model's case, all the other models are not very much adaptive to the market changes, okay? But Agile is very adaptive. That's why Agile is kind of popular in the market. So traditional SDLC models won't adapt to the changes quickly. The other traditional SDLC models won't adapt to the market needs or changes quickly, okay? And introduce the new features into the software is not possible there because adaptation of the changes is not there in a proper way in other traditional models but coming to agile sdlc model okay it became popular in the market because nowadays most of the applications are medium and large sized applications okay unlike the older days where very simple applications used to be there nowadays the size of the application is very big right medium and large size applications are there and these applications will evolve over a period of time okay they will not be ready in a single day or single month or single year okay they keep kind of evolving over a period of years and uh, they compete with other applications in the market and a lot of functionalities or features that come into the market right they quickly adapt okay all the features will be incorporated into this application very quickly because these applications for their development are using which is sdlc model agile sdlc model okay for the development of this kind of softwares these applications are following the agile sdlc model and hence they are quickly adapting the changes that's why agile sdlc model became popular in the market okay because it is very adaptive or very quick in adapting to the changes that are there in the market fine now guys so this is one reason and uh, next thing is agile sdlc model develops the software over multiple iterations in an incremental manner what does it mean let me explain it clearly guys okay so here in traditional model if i compare traditional sdlc model with uh, agile sdlc model right what's the difference here is in case of traditional sdlc model so before the development starts okay before the application is developed so what the team will do is okay they will gather all the requirements okay they, they will gather all the requirements at a glance okay whatever the requirements that are required for developing the software they have to gather in the beginning itself okay during the project they won't gather guys the requirements will be freeze during the development of the project later portion of the development of the project they won't add any extra requirements in the beginning of the project itself they will gather all the requirements okay that are required for the software so is it possible for us to know all the requirements in advance because some some ideas may not be we, we uh, some ideas may not strike in the beginning of the project right okay some ideas may not strike us in the beginning of the project and do uh, and and if you have to gather all the requirements before the actual project starts that is a problem right that is a problem in the traditional model where you need to gather all the requirements and you have to force yourself in gathering all the requirements you should not miss any requirements but what happens in real time is you may think that you have gathered all the requirements but during the software development process in between the software development process 
some other ideas will keep on striking or some other changes will happen in the market okay market is very fast nowadays right so a lot of changes are required in the market all these ideas idea one idea two idea three and so on cannot be incorporated into this software because you see as per the traditional models all the change requ changes or all, all the requirements need to be gathered in the beginning okay which is actually a failure i can say okay in case of traditional models but coming to the agile sglc model guys okay your requirements are not freezed okay your requirements are not freezed how the development will happen in this agile sglc model is so here even we don't have to gather all the requirements okay in the beginning unlike traditional models okay in traditional model we have to gather all the requirements in the beginning of the project right but in agile sglc model it's not compulsory that you have to gather all the requirements okay here you have to gather gather as many requirements as possible okay in case of agile sdlc model during the beginning of the project you have to gather as many requirements as possible and no one is going to stop you okay no one is going to freeze this requirements okay so we can continue gathering the requirements during the project also okay if any ideas or any uh, changes comes in the market during the development of the project still we can accumulate here okay gather as many requirements as possible at any point of time during the project but how does the development will happen here all these requirements at a go have to be developed but whereas in agile sdlc model development happens in iterations okay let's say every iteration will have some timeline guys for example it is a time bound iteration for example this is first iteration so let's say this is a one to four weeks let's give two weeks guys okay in two weeks of time okay in two weeks of time some five requirements need to be developed not all requirements have to be developed and tested in this two weeks but just five requirements have to be completed by the end of this two weeks after this five requirements are completed by the end of this first iteration you will get some size product assume that this is a okay assume that you got a software of size this much okay at the end of this first iteration which is of uh, which is going for two weeks okay where the development and testing team are working for two weeks right they developed this five requirements out of all the requirements gathered here only five requirements are developed and tested here at the end of this two weeks and we got this kind of software okay some some sized software we got after that another iteration will start okay another iteration will start this iteration also will be of same two weeks okay another two weeks two to four weeks or one to four weeks guys okay it can be one week or two week or three week or four week i am just taking two weeks as an example let's assume an iteration is of two weeks here and again some like uh, around five that may be four or five or six okay this time let's say four stories got uh, okay four four requirements got assigned to the second iteration out of all these requirements four requirements got assigned here so here by the end of the second iteration that is uh, second two weeks you will get a bigger size of software okay so compared to the previous one this uh, size of the software will be big again this process will not stop guys okay again another iteration will be there okay so again this iteration will be again two weeks and let's say here this time uh, some six six requirements have been assigned and uh, they they need to be developed and tested by the end of this two weeks so at the end of this third iteration you may get another size software okay a bigger size of software you see compared to this one this is kind of bigger again another iteration will keep on coming so this process keeps on going guys fourth iteration is going on first iteration of development and testing second iteration of development and testing third iteration by the end of the third iteration we have this five plus uh, four plus six that is 15 15 requirements completed by this time okay so these how guys uh, the in case of agile in case of agile the software will be developed over multiple iterations okay like iteration 1 iteration 2 iteration 3 iteration 4 and so on and the software will be developed in an incremental fashion at the end of the first iteration this is what is the size of the software okay next time it got incremented with this size the third iteration at the end of the third iteration the software size got incremented by this much size so that's why agile sdlc model develops the software over multiple iterations in an incremental manner okay in an incremental manner the development will happen fine so guys here requirements are not freezed okay during these iterations okay at any iteration during any iteration this more requirements can be added to this uh, bucket okay whatever the bucket we have here where all the requirements are gathered and assigned to this particular iterations right uh, to this particular bucket we can keep on adding any number of requirements during the project okay there is no stop point for or we are not going to freeze any requirements using the agile sdlc model fine guys so hope guys you understood something about agile so far what exactly is agile agile means quick 
and agile is one of the sdlc models which is kind of uh, the most popular sdlc models and 90% of the projects in the market are using the agile sdlc model because it's very adaptive to the changes in the market okay it's very quick and uh, faster in adapting the changes in the market and second thing is that here development will not happen at a go rather development will happen development of the software in agile sdlc model will happen over multiple iterations in a incremental manner okay that means at the end of every iteration some some product will be visible right some software will be ready so the client or customer okay the client or customer can actually see the some output of the software here okay unlike traditional models where the software will be only available after the entire sdlc life cycle right but in case of this agile sdlc model some portion of the software will be available for the customers to review or give feedback okay after every iteration some incremental portion of the software will be available these are few advantages guys okay fine now let's move on to the next one guys let's move on to the next one that is agile methodologies okay so agile is one of the sdlc model under agile there are different methodologies okay so under agile we have different methodologies okay so there is no single framework okay so here in waterfall model there is only one single framework okay that is uh, one after one uh, one after another phase of the software okay first uh, requ requirement gathering and analysis phase like that okay requirement gathering uh, and planning phase then design phase then implementation phase then testing phase like that only one model is there in the waterfall model okay one framework or methodology is in the waterfall or other models but coming to agile guys there are several methodologies okay there are several methodologies what are the different methodologies we have in agile then first methodology we have in agile is scrum methodology then we have kanban then we have lean then we have extreme programming so apart from extreme programming we have crystal crystal methodology then we have f dd i guess okay f dd then feature f dd means feature driven development then we have dsdm dsdm so and may, maybe other sdlc models or uh, other methodologies are also there under agile okay agile is one of the sdlc model under this agile sdlc model there are several methodologies like scrum kanban lean extreme programming crystal fdd dsdm and many other guys okay fine but which one is popular out of all these methodologies or frameworks available in under agile sdlc model which methodology or framework is popular the number one or hash one is simply scrum okay in agile the number one methodology that most of the projects in the market follow are is scrum okay the most of the projects in the market follow is scrum methodology okay number one methodology guys in the market and apart from scrum even we have kanban kanban is like hash to you can say the second second popular the second popular methodology under agile is kanban guys but uh, mostly we'll discuss uh, scrum guys okay in this uh, session in this session as part of agile concepts that are required for learning uh, jira tool or uh, using jira tool okay as part of that you just need to understand out of all the sdlc model agile is one of the sdlc model under agile sdlc model the number one methodology or framework that most of the projects use out of all these uh, frameworks or templates or methodologies is scrum methodology okay so we'll focus this session only on the scrum methodology in a detailed manner fine okay so scrum is the number one methodology under agile as you can see in this image also under agile we have methodologies these are the different methodologies methodologies templates or frameworks whatever you can call for uh, implementing the sdlc model in the project right uh, this any of this framework or template or methodology can be used scrum is the number one in the market okay so now let's focus on agile scrum guys okay let's focus on this agile scrum now agile scrum okay agile scrum is one of the methodology in agile guys okay scrum is one of the methodology in agile and um, and this is the number one okay as i already mentioned right agile scrum methodology is the number one in the market agile scrum methodology is number one in as shown in this image guys as you can see agile scrum methodology is the hash one in the market that's the first thing second thing about agile is agile is not uh, agile is not equal to scrum or scrum is not equal to agile guys okay scrum not equal to agile while i am why i am saying this right lot of people in the market uh, get confused here guys okay so they think that scrum is nothing but agile agile is nothing but scrum they will think but 
it's not the correct one guys okay that that kind of thinking is not correct guys scrum is one of the methodology under agile okay agile is like an umbrella guys under this umbrella there are different methodologies okay which can be implemented in any of your projects okay one of this methodology under this agile sdlc model can be implemented in your project but this methodology is not equal to agile right scrum is one of the methodology under agile and agile has a lot of methodologies so nowhere scrum is equal to agile or agile is equal to scrum okay both are not same okay agile and scrum both are not same scrum is one of the methodology or framework or template under agile but they are not same okay agile is a bigger concept guys okay agile is a bigger concept and scrum is the implementation like that you can treat agile is a sdlc model concept wise okay a lot of concepts principles in agile guys we have a lot of uh, you know right uh, methodologies are there uh, practices are there i'll not explain more about practices in this session because that will be out of topic okay practices are there we have manifesto okay manifesto in agile this manifesto has values agile manifesto has some values and principles rules and regulations you can say right so this manifesto means some kind of uh, rules and principles and all those stuff guys uh, if a particular project actually uses this agile sdlc model what are the rules and regulations to be followed okay uh, how agile need to be maintained all these things are there here these rules and regulations are nothing but manifesto and we have best practices and we have methodologies and all those stuff okay so agile is not a simple concept guys agile is a bigger thing under that we have one of the implementation or one of the framework to implement the project uh, that is project development that is scrum guys okay scrum is the implementation of the agile okay agile practices or manifesto or whatever it is okay agile is implementation of the agile manifesto that is values and principles of the agile okay so hence agile is not equal to scrum or scrum is not equal to agile now guys let's understand about the agile scrum framework okay the agile scrum methodology or framework or template and how how uh, how if you choose okay if you choose in any of your projects if you choose this uh, one of the agile methodologies that is, that is scrum for the software development then how the process will go on in the project okay let's understand that here in this okay let's understand that so scrum is one of the scrum is one of the agile methodologies okay scrum is one of the agile methodologies which follows this manifesto of the agile that is values and principles of the agile okay the high level manifesto of the agile the scrum framework will or methodology will implement in the project developments and all okay software developments and all as part of the projects fine now there are a lot of things you have to understand under scrum guys okay under scrum you have to understand a lot of stuff first one is first thing you have to understand is some terminologies are there guys okay some terminologies so terminologies i'll simply say terminologies guys first terminology that you have to understand as part of this scrum is i'll minimize uh, okay it's not possible to minimize this area fine no problem let's focus here more than terminologies the first terminology you have to understand in agile methodology that is scrum is sprint guys okay under scrum there is something known as sprint what is this sprint what is this sprint guys that is very important okay to get started guys understanding the sprint is very important here i have already mentioned guys okay in case of agile sdlc model right the development of the software will happen over iterations right in each and every iteration some set of requirements will be developed and tested by the end of the every iteration here five requirements got developed and tested here four requirements as part of the second uh, iteration of the software okay got developed and tested here six requirements got developed and tested by the end of the iteration and the process goes on right here each and every iteration this is the first iteration this is a second iteration okay which is of uh, duration of one to four weeks okay the each and every iteration is of one to four weeks right so here each and every iteration is nothing but a sprint guys okay this is one sprint sprint okay this is a sprint guys a iteration is nothing but sprint okay so another iteration this is also a sprint as this is a terminology in agile scrum methodology guys okay in agile scrum methodology iteration is known as what sprint sprint is means what sprint is nothing but iteration having some duration iteration having some duration how much duration a sprint can have how much duration a sprint can have guys sprint can have a duration of one to four weeks okay different projects okay in different projects different sprint durations will be used okay 
for each and every iteration that iteration is nothing but sprint the duration of the sprint will be in di differs to project to project in sp in some projects the duration will be one week in some projects the duration will be two weeks in some projects the duration will be three weeks in some projects the duration of the iteration or sprint will be four weeks but in most of the projects what is the general duration okay most popular or mostly most widely used duration or widely chosen duration for a particular sprint or iteration is what two weeks okay two weeks is famous one guys okay so most of the projects in the market choose two weeks as their sprint duration okay that is iteration duration in two weeks this requirements that are assigned to this uh, particular iteration or sprint need to be completed okay so two weeks is a famous number guys even though there is a flexibility of choosing the duration for a sprint to from one to one to four weeks okay in this uh, scrum agile methodology but uh, two weeks is a famous one that most of the projects in the market are using okay so software in uh, sprint means iteration guys in simple terms sprint is nothing but iteration okay the software here will be developed in multiple iterations not at a go all the requirements will not be developed at a go if you if you go and compare the traditional projects guys if you go and compare the traditional projects in traditional projects we have a document known as some brs document okay in traditional projects that is waterfall or whatever it is we have a document known as brs document containing all the hundreds of requirements will be there in the single document and uh, this document will be given to the development and testing team and development team have to develop all these requirements at a go develop all requirements at a go but in case of agile guys uh, this is not the case okay we, in agile we don't have any brs document okay in agile we don't have brs document or we don't develop all the requirements at a go instead we have something known as in agile we have some uh, in agile scrum mainly we have something known as stories guys okay stories are not uh, nothing but requirements i'll explain more about stories later anyhow so store we instead of brs document we have something known as user stories are there okay smaller requirements you can say users or stories are nothing but the individual or smaller requirements which cannot be broken further kind of okay so these stories right uh, so these requirements or stories will be developed in multiple iterations iteration one iteration two iteration three and so on okay it will they will not be all the requirements will not be developed at a go in the agile uh, scrum so instead the first iteration okay let's say assume that this is two weeks iteration duration iteration or sprint okay in this two weeks how much can be completed not all the, the all the requirements cannot be completed in just two weeks right only whatever that is completed will be completed okay five requirements or six requirements or four requirements like that guys okay so software is developed in iterations and each and every iteration is known as what in agile scrum methodology or framework iteration is called as sprint sprint is nothing but the iteration simple words okay software will be developed in an incremental manner at the end of every iteration some sized software will be coming right the, at the end of the first iteration this size software will come the second iteration at the end of the second iteration 5 plus 6 total 11 requirements have been completed okay a bigger size software will come then at the end of the third iteration that is a uh, at the end of the third sprint we'll get a even more bigger sized software okay which contains uh, 5 plus 6 plus 4 that is total 15 requirements have been completed and developed here okay like that software will be developed in an incremental manner with a few set of requirements for every sprint or iteration okay in every iteration not all the requirements in every iteration or sprint not all the requirements will be developed rather a few selected number of okay requirements will be uh, developed and tested by the end of every sprint and uh, software will be developed in an incremental fashion at the end of every sprint you will get some portion of the software developed okay and thus the size of the software will keep on increasing after at the end of every iteration or sprint okay sprint duration i already told you right okay here uh, sprint means iteration guys having some duration du duration and uh, sprint duration is uh, one to four weeks and two weeks and here one more thing i mentioned right you see here incrementally okay software will be developed incrementally okay incremental development of the software will happen okay incremental development is there over iterations fine ideal sprint duration i told you right uh, this is ideal sprint duration that most of the projects in the market are using this ideal sprint duration that is two weeks okay which is famous in the market in real time fine guys hope you understood what exactly sprint is sprint means an iteration okay sprint means an iteration now the next important thing you have to understand under this uh, agile scrum is okay after understanding the sprint guys you have to understand one thing known as one more thing known as roles okay 
scrum roles scrum roles okay scrum roles what are these scrum roles under scrum agile methodology under scrum agile methodology okay we have sprint sprint is the duration of the iteration anyhow right it's nothing but an iteration right which has having some duration and all those stuff but coming to the scrum roles roles means the different type of people who will be working in this agile scrum methodology okay the different type of people or roles that are there in this agile scrum methodology projects first role we have as our product okay the first role is product owner guys okay we have product owner in the projects in the agile scrum methodology implemented projects one of the role is product owner then we have scrum master then we have development team here development team means both testing and development team guys okay in agile scrum methodology okay all the people in the team are called as development team guys okay either they are developers or testers there is no discrimination guys okay sometimes people call them as scrum team okay some in some they will call that as a agile scrum team some in some projects they will be calling as development team what does it mean is all the members are contributing to the project they don't want to discriminate so irrespective of their roles in the project okay they are called as development team guys either you are a tester or a developer you are simply called as a development team you are part of the agile scrum development team if you are a tester also you are part of the agile scrum development team okay like that so these are the three scrum roles we have guys product owner scrum master and development team okay these are three roles of the people who will be working in the agile scrum methodology or framework projects fine product owner scrum master and development team these are three things now let's understand one by one guys okay first understand who is the product owner what he will do okay and who is the scrum master later who is the development team like that one by one we'll see okay but so far everyone is clear right agile is one of the sdlc models under agile sdlc model we have different methodologies like scrum kanban and all those stuff in that scrum is a popular one and uh, under scrum we have okay under scrum we have uh, this uh, different scrum roles okay under scrum we have this different scrum roles so one of the scrum role we have is the product owner okay the first scrum role we have is the product owner guys i'll explain more about the product owner now product owner who is a product owner in agile scrum methodology implemented projects the product owner is a person who knows the business well if you go to the traditional projects guys if i compare this uh, with our traditional projects here here there, there is one person who knows the business well okay in case of traditional projects guys if this is a traditional project there's a person who knows the business well that person we generally call as ba ba stands for business analyst we call that right business analyst analyst but in case of but in case of agile guys okay in case of uh, agile uh, scrum methodology projects okay agile scrum projects okay we don't have business analyst in place of business analyst we have a person known as who knows the business well he is known as product owner we have okay in case of traditional projects we have business analyst whereas here we don't have any business analyst in agile scrum projects so okay in agile scrum methodology implemented projects there is no business analyst in place of the business analyst we will have product owner who knows the business well okay so product owner is the one who knows the business well guys and uh, this product owner uh, despite of knowing the business well he will interact with the customers okay the customers or probable clients or whatever it is he will interact with them he will know more about the business okay of what the customer wants and needs and all he will know it better product owner is the one who knows the business well and and who interacts with the customers to find out uh, what exactly the end users or customers or clients are are in need of okay so like that he will collect all the requirements okay since he knows the business well and he can interact with all the real all the different type of people in the market uh, who are behind the development uh, who, who actually want this particular software to be used in real world right from them he will collect all the probable and possible requirements okay that uh, a software should contain and all that's what is a product owner guys so what are the different activities that will be performed by product owner in the project product owner will create something known as epic guys okay epics he'll create some epics guys okay product owner creates what so first thing is product owner creates creates epics so what are these epics guys okay okay so you simply epics epics or whatever i am uh, i'm going to talk about they are all related to requirements guys okay 
epics are related to requirements stories are related to requirements whatever the product owner is going to do some activities right all those activities are about the business knowledge interacting with the customers and creating or deriving the requirements as part of deriving the requirements right product owner will create some epics guys okay what are epics then epics are larger requirements okay what are epics means epics means larger requirements high level requirements are known as epics for example one of the epic can be like this guys i will show you an example here for example this is an e-commerce application right you already know that this uh, tutorialsinja.com uh, slash demo is an e-commerce application so if uh, the product owner has to create an epic for this particular requirement for this kind of application right what he will say that is for a new e-commerce website for a new e-commerce website like this okay to launch to create this kind of e-commerce application okay the highest business value okay the actual business value will be when a new user is able to register okay a user should come and register in this okay so a new user should come and register an account with this application and uh, should be able to log in once registered right you should be able to log into the application with the given credentials okay so the user can give the credentials here okay and uh, login login you should be able to new user should be able to create an account and you should be able to log in you should be able to search for the products okay you should be able to search for the products like this and go to the product pages okay view the details of the products and also make a purchase okay so and also the user should be able to make a purchase like this so make a payment and uh, place an order okay all this should be possible right that's what is the purpose of a one of the important purpose right such kind of larger requirements you see that is a very big requirement right so epic here epic is nothing but a bigger requirement guys okay epic is nothing but a bigger requirement stated at a high level saying for a new e-commerce website to launch the highest business value will be when a new user is able to register login search and purchase an item from the website this is a very big requirement that's what is called as epic guys okay so as part of one of the activities of the product owner who knows the business well and who can interact with the customers uh, and, and customers and all and who can derive the requirements right his main activities will be to create this kind of larger requirements known as epics okay he will create something known as epics okay which are nothing but epics are nothing but means epics epic means epic is or epics are larger requirements okay about the software about the software that you be developed a larger requirement has to be created by the product owner kind of person and those larger requirements are known as epics okay so first product owner will create the epics as far as, as part of the first activity then what what else he will do so along with that guys along with the epics you see he'll create multiple epics guys so only one epic will not be there okay as you can see in this sheet guys okay here epic 001 is there and apart from that epic 002 epic 003 I'm, i didn't write anything here because it's an example sheet only so here also some description will be there about the larger requirement of the software epic 002 epic 003 and so on guys in a particular software there will be multiple epics okay multiple larger requirements have to be created by the product owner first and for this individual epics okay next activity is for each and every epic okay user stories need to be created next activity of the product owner is create creates user stories what are these user stories then already requirements larger requirements are epics then what about user stories then user stories are smaller requirements epics are larger requirements when this larger requirement is broken down into smallest requirements smallest possible requirements that will become what guys user stories simple terms right product owner will create a larger requirements known as epics multiple larger requirements he will create first and for each and every larger requirements he will break this larger requirements into smallest parts smallest requirements known as smaller requirements known as user stories guys okay here product owner is okay breaking this larger requirements into multiple smaller requirements known as user stories okay in agile scrum stories means smaller requirements okay this is a terminology guys okay epic is one terminology here i can update the terminology part also okay here sprint is one terminology guys okay so uh, scrum roles these are also terminologies right so product owner you need to know who, what is product owner who is product owner in scrum you have to know all terminologies are names you can say so similarly epic is also a terminology in agile scrum and also user story is also a terminology in agile scrum 
okay so story stories means what guys uh, this larger requirements broken down into multiple smaller requirements is known as multiple smaller requirements known as user stories okay user stories so i'll give you example here guys for, for example this is one of the epic right which is a larger requirement this larger requirement states that for a new e-commerce website to launch the highest business value will be when a new user is able to register login search and purchase an item from the website is a larger requirement and that can be broken down into this kind of there are four requirements so four user stories it got break down into okay here stories are nothing but the smaller requirements okay which came out of this bigger requirement or larger requirement these are the smaller requirements of the larger requirement known as stories these are the user stories okay so if you read one of the user story guys as you can see as a first time visitor to the e-commerce website i want to register my account so that i can log into the application uh, log into the account this this one is able to reach registering an account right creating an account what about the second story second story is about as, as a registered user already the user is registered i want to log into the website so here this story is all about logging into the web application okay logging into the web application third story is all about as a registered user i want to log out from the website this story third story is about log out functionality of the application fourth story as a user i want to be able to search items okay so this is about the searching functionality of the application okay like that this bigger la or larger requirement can be broken down into this kind of smaller stories okay this kind of smaller stories i'll explain more about these stories guys i'll be back so simple terms user stories are smaller requirements broken down from a larger requirement known as epic okay so smaller requirements okay are known as stories okay stories are nothing but what stories are smaller requirements broken down from an epic okay these stories are created by breaking down the epic into smaller requirements okay broken down from an epic to, to form a to form a smaller requirement i don't have to write that okay broken down from an epic okay, which is a larger requirement fine guys so guys if you clearly observe these stories guys there is one important thing that you have to understand in this kind of story okay so what is that important thing whenever who creates this who writes this story guys who creates this story as i already mentioned here the product owner is the one who will create this larger story larger requirements known as epics and also the same product owner is the one who will create this smaller requirements are broken down from the larger epic known as user stories this epics and stories are created by the product owner only product owner will create this stories on epics but in which format he will create just understand the style of language that product owner is using while creating this story guys as a something okay as a something i want to do something so that something will happen every story if you see guys the same format will be there as a something i want to do something so that something will happen as a something i want to do something so that something will happen as a something i want to do something so that something will happen so whenever you get this kind of stories or requirements uh, explained smaller requirements explained by a product owner right product owner will simply follow this kind of format saying as a something i want to do something so that something will happen you see as a something means see, as a first time visitor to the e-commerce website something here is first time visitor to the e-commerce website okay as a some user okay as a first time visitor to the e-commerce website i want to do something on the application what is that you you want to do on the application i want to register an account on the application okay i want to register my account on the application that is what something that the user want to do okay so that something will happen so that something will be achieved what is that something that will be achieved as a uh, result of this particular action that is here i want to create an account so that i can log into my application right why why people want to create accounts they want to log into the application like that okay if you see the second story also as a something i want to do something so that something will happen as a registered user i want to log into the website why i want to log into the application so that i can see my account details okay again as a something i want to do something so that something will happen as a registered user i want to log out from the website why people want to log out from the website so that no one can access your account after you go away from the machine right that is log out so as a something i want to do something so that something will happen as a user i want to be able to either as a registered user or non registered user i want to be able to search items why people want to search for the products because they want to add them to the cart and check out and purchase right do the purchase they want to place the orders right so this is what they want to purchase the items like this guys the stories will be described generally and uh, 
one more thing about the stories here if you clearly observe guys okay so apart from this is the title of the story guys okay whatever the format i just now mentioned right as a something i want to do something and so that uh, something will happen that format is for the title of the story okay that's for the title of the story and product owner while creating the story guys he'll not simply create the story he'll not cre simply create the title of the story like this as a something i want to do something so that something will happen that's just the title of the story guys apart from giving the title of the story product owner also will give more details about the story like this okay product owner also will mention more details under this title he will mention all these details in a detailed manner okay so so how the product owner is explaining or describing this user story that has to be developed uh, to be developed and tested in the application as part of the application functionality is a requirement right user story is a small requirement so in the title format is explaining like that in but title is not always enough right to understand a particular user story title is not enough because the product owner want to give a lot of details about that particular requirement okay you want to describe the requirement giving just stating the requirement is something and explaining and explaining us the requirement in a easiest language so that all the developers and testers in the team can understand is another thing right so to explain the people what exactly this uh, status story is all about then product owner will create something known as acceptance criteria okay user story will contain what these user stories okay this user stories contain two things one is title okay that is user story title contain user story title user story title like this whatever i have shown this format as a something i want to do something so something will happen title after that he will describe this user story with the help of acceptance criteria okay the business criteria acceptance criteria guys okay so where the product owner will describe this story in a detailed manner if you can see here if you compare this title and this description description will be more clear you see a lot of uh, uh, internal things are uh, detailed way the uh, specific way the description will be done you see ensure that the first time visitor is able to navigate to the register account page okay ensure the first time visitor is able to navigate to the register account page then that particular first time user is able to after navigating to the register account page that particular user is able to enter or fill the details into the first name field last name field email field telephone field password field password confirm field and newsletter sr no options privacy policy checkbox field and register button okay all the fields are mentioned here okay as part of this functionality how many fields are required clearly mentioned by the product owner in the acceptance criteria of this particular story in a descriptive or detailed manner then create account by providing the above details and login automatically so on providing and creating this account right uh, the user should be able to login automatically okay on creating the account user should be able to login automatically guys okay so this is one story having the title and acceptance criteria story will contain title and acceptance criteria guys okay as explained here like each and every story here is a title and acceptance criteria for this story guys you see ensure the registered user is able to navigate to the login page okay it's all about the login functionality of the application In ensure the registered user is able to navigate to the login page provide credentials into the email and password fields on the login page and uh, login and finding all the below details after login right uh, the user should find all the below account details after login edit account information change your password modify your address book and other things okay like that descriptive way of explaining about the story will be done by the product owner under a section known as acceptance criteria this is the title of the story this is acceptance criteria of the story so here developers and testers need to understand the story with the help of this title and acceptance criteria in a detailed manner as a register user i want to log out from the website so that no one else uh, no one else can access my account okay this is another one no one else can access my account ensure the register user is able to navigate to the login page provide credentials into email address and password field and login find all the below information i think this is a copy pasting i have to modify this right navigate to the lo uh, okay so here uh, simple say ensure the register user able to log in uh, able to log out from the application log out from the application okay and uh, the detailed using the using the logout option provided in provided in the menu options okay something like this he will write and uh, other users okay should not be able to access the 
login functionality uh, access the functionality okay other other users should not be able to access the functionality okay access um, my account functionality of the user okay this is how we can write the acceptance criteria this is how the product owner will write the acceptance criteria last one guys as a user i want to be able to search items so that i can add them to the cart and do the payment okay as a user i want to be able to search items so that i can add them to the cart and do payment ensure the registered and non registered users here both users clearly mentioned guys you see are able to search for the different products find the details of the products in the product display page okay search for the products for example here there is an application right sample application i'll show you so whatever that is say either the registered user or non registered user okay here registered user is there registered user or not registered user can search for the products okay they can search for the products after that find the details of the product in the product display pages so if i click on this uh, product you see you got a product display page guys this is what is a product display page so where you can find all the details of the product right the title of the product brand of the product price of the product uh, okay reward points of the product whether it is available or not okay delivery dates description specification reviews and many things are there about the product okay add the product to shopping cart so add this particular they can add the product to the shopping cart okay like this and uh, check out the product make payments during the payment gateway and place the order okay place the order, order if this particular product like that you see lot of description has been done by written by the product owner as part of the acceptance criteria of this particular story so like this will have a higher level requirement known as epic and that particular higher level requirement or larger requirement can be broken down into smaller requirements known as stories like this okay us 0010020030004 and then next epic will contain 5 6 or multiple stories so third epic is has having another multiple stories and this process keeps on going as multiple epics and multiple stories for each and every epic and uh, each and every story will have a uh, story title and acceptance criteria okay so like this guys this is what is a format who is creating all this stuff who is creating all this stuff epic stories uh, story title and acceptance criteria and all because the one who knows the business well can do that right that is nothing but the product owner in the project will do that okay fine guys so far so good okay so stories creating of the epics is done creating of the stories is done now what the product owner can do next what the product owner can do next next thing is that he will maintain the stories in the product backlog and prioritize them okay so once these stories are created right uh, the product owner will maintain the stories under a something known as a product backlog okay under a bucket known as product backlog so this kind of product backlog uh, it can be as, as simple as a document or if you go to the jira tool guys there is a separate page for this okay there is a page where uh, you can actually uh, create the backlog of stories okay a list of stories because product owner will keep on uh, creating the epics and stories and these stories need to be kept somewhere right these stories created by the product owner need to be placed somewhere right in a kind of bucket he has to place all these stories need to be uh, developed and tested as part of the project that's good thing but before the project actually before the team actually starts working on the stories the product owner places these stories under a kind of bucket known as in a kind of document or bucket known as a product backlog guys okay here all the stories will be maintained all the stories created by the product owner with the story title and acceptance criteria and all the stuff right that will be maintained by the product owner under the product backlog okay so another terminology we got here is a product backlog guys okay apart from the user story and epic we got another terminology here that is product backlog so here product owner maintains the stories in a product backlog and not only here in this product uh, backlog product owner maintains the stories maintains the stories he collects all the stories and places the stories and maintains the stories in product backlog not only maintaining the stories guys the product owner will prioritize the stories okay prioritize the stories you see not all all requirements are of the same level right for example if you go here go to this page mostly this all are important requirements register account uh, log into the website log out from the website and uh, search for the products or kind of looks like a uh, same priority like priority 1 priority 1 this one looks priority 2 this one is priority 1 like that okay so different requirements are of different priorities right contact us page may not be the highest priority right so login functionality is highest priority search functionality is highest priority uh, about us page is not the highest priority in the application like that okay so 
So based on the requirements, guys, okay, based on the type of the requirements or user stories, the product owner has to prioritize the stories, give some priorities to this particular stories, okay? I'll show you practically when I explain this uh, stories with the help of the Jira tool, okay? In Jira tool, I explain how to prioritize the stories. For now, understand at this level. Created list of stories by product owner will reside in the product backlog by default, and these stories need to be prioritized by the product owner, okay? That will be maintained in the product backlog by the product owner and will be given some priorities to. Now, what the product owner will do after that, after creating this epics, after creating the stories and after maintaining the stories and prioritizing the stories in the product backlog, then what the next the product owner will do is he'll, he'll create a sprint, guys, okay? I told you already, right, what exactly is sprint here already I covered. Sprint is a duration of the iteration, okay? Here, development of this uh, software will happen in multiple iterations. Each and every iteration in the Agile Scrum methodology is known as a sprint. Sprint will have around uh, ideal case, uh, generally one to four weeks, guys, and ideal case, uh, most of the projects follow two weeks of duration, right? So here, sprint will be created by whom? Apart from creating the epics and stories and uh, maintaining the stories in the product backlog, okay? Maintaining the stories in the product backlog by prioritizing them all. Product owner has to also create a sprint, okay? That is another activity of the product owner. Create sprint, okay? He will, product owner is the one who will create the sprint, guys. So create an iteration known as sprint for duration which ranges from one to four weeks, okay? While creating this uh, iteration or sprint, guys, product owner will give a duration for that particular sprint to complete. So it may give either two weeks or one week or three weeks or four weeks, okay? Ideally, most of the projects most of the product product owners will give two weeks duration guys okay so that is what is creating of a sprint guys then coming to the next one guys sprint planning meeting next one is sprint planning meeting what is a sprint planning meeting so okay so one minute there's something missing here let me add that to these notes first okay let me add something to the notes first guys so here Agile Scrum frame, framework, right? So before I explain anything further, let me add something to the notes. I forgot here. Let me add that. Okay, guys, I have updated this notes a bit. As you can see, the, the diagram was missing earlier. Now I got this diagram back. I'll just reduce this size so that you can see the diagram properly here on the notes. So this is the diagram, guys, okay, of the Agile Scrum methodology. Okay, this is what is Agile Scrum methodology. So we, um, I don't want to show this diagram straightforward okay that's why okay so i'm taking it to count now if you can see here guys uh, different activities the product owner will do he will create a sprint okay sprint is nothing but the duration right you see every iteration is known as a sprint okay every iteration i'll explain more about this diagram later guys but uh, you see there are a lot of items on this diagram okay you will not be able to follow uh, follow or understand now but uh, step by step i'll point out okay you see sprint sprint is what guys what is sprint? Sprint means iteration. You see in this diagram, where is the sprint? You just need to find out, okay? Don't worry about other items on this diagram. What is very sprint you find it out, okay? Sprint is one to four weeks sprint, okay, you see? So this kind of circular thing, upper arrow and lower arrow, if you combine, right, these two portions, if you combine, right, uh, this will become a sprint, one circle, become one circle, which is a one to four weeks uh, duration, guys, okay? Ideally, most of the projects use uh, iteration of two weeks, okay? So what will happen during this one iteration? Like that, okay? This sprint means this iteration, okay? Of having some one to four weeks duration. Then second one was scrum roles, right? There are different roles I mentioned. Product owner, scrum master, and development team. If you see here, product owner is there here. Product owner, scrum master is here like a superman. Can you see here? The superman symbol, scrum master. Here, uh, normal symbol, product owner. The one who knows the business well is the product owner. Here we have the scrum master. And third role we have is the development team in this diagram, right? So step by step, we'll break this diagram into okay, so that we can understand. Okay, this entire diagram we'll, we are going to understand this, but let's understand them. Each and every component, let's understand them separately. Here, sprint is one iteration. Okay, sprint is nothing but iteration having some duration, and uh, roles are nothing but product owner, scrum master, and development team. These are the roles. Okay. So now coming to the product owner, guys. Product owner has to create some. Create what? He knows the business well. He will interact with the customers. He can create the epics. He can create the stories. He can create the Okay, in, um, in the stories, we'll create the title and acceptance criteria. And uh, this product owner will maintain the stories in the product backlog. You see here, there is symbol for product backlog. Can you see this kind of sheet or something where the list of stories which are which are created and maintained by the product owner 
in a bucket kind of thing known as product backlog. This is what is product backlog. A list of requirements are maintained by the product owner in this product backlog. Now guys, next thing is that product owner need to create a sprint. So iteration will only start, okay? The iteration where the development and testing will be done by the development team will only start when the product owner creates a sprint, okay? Product owner has to create a sprint, guys. Then only it will start. Fine, that's what is sprint, guys, okay? So here, what the product owner is going to do? Product owner is going to create a sprint of having some duration like two, or two weeks or one to four weeks, whatever it is, okay? Product owner is the one who will create the sprint. Fine, what next then? After creating the sprint, product owner has to plan some meeting known as sprint planning meeting. If you can see here, guys, in this diagram, the first meeting, okay? These four are the different type of meetings, guys, okay? First meeting, second meeting, third meeting, fourth meeting, you see? There are four meetings in this diagram. This uh, this uh, bar having four sections are not each and every section is a uh, meeting here. First meeting is what meeting? Sprint planning meeting, okay? This one is a sprint planning meeting. The first meeting is a sprint planning meeting, okay? Who will conduct this sprint planning meeting? Again, the same one, okay? After creating the sprint, product owner need to conduct a meeting known as sprint planning meeting. With whom he will conduct, with whom the product owner will conduct this uh, sprint planning meeting? Product owner will conduct this sprint planning meeting, the first meeting that will happen, okay, in the project. That is, product owner will create, uh, conduct this sprint planning meeting with, conduct sprint planning meeting. With whom he'll conduct? He'll, he'll conduct with the development team, guys, okay? Development. Development team, as I told you, right, in Agile Scrum, development team means all the people are called as development team only. Either testers or developers, all are part of the development team, okay? So, product owner will conduct a meeting known as sprint planning meeting. The first meeting he will conduct with someone known as, after creating the sprint, product owner, after creating this epic stories, okay, a set of epics and stories and uh, maintaining this epics and uh, maintaining the stories in the product backlog and prioritizing them, immediately will create a sprint, okay? So that people can start working, okay, on this sprint or this iteration here, they can start working. So product owner will create the sprint and and after creating the sprint, immediately product owner will conduct a sprint planning meeting. Will conduct a meeting known as sprint planning meeting. So to this particular sprint planning meeting, along with the product owner, development team will attend, okay? Product owner and development team will meet in this particular meeting and discuss on the stuff. What stuff they will be discussing? What will happen in the sprint planning meeting, I'm going to explain, okay? So product owner conducts the sprint planning meet with, meeting with the development team, that's the first thing. And uh, the product owner will bring up the list of prioritized stories, okay? So whatever the, okay, here, whatever the product owner is maintaining the stories where guys in the product backlog, right? The list of stories that are there in the prioritized and uh, maintained in the product backlog, right? That he will bring into the meeting, okay? He'll bring that particular list of prioritized stories, okay? He will bring the, bring forward the list of stories in, okay, stories maintained in product backlog, having some prioritization on, right? These stories may have some prioritizations done already. So brings, brings, brings forward, okay, this product owner during this, uh, while conducting this product uh, sprint planning meeting with the development team, he will bring onto the plate or bring onto the table the list of the stories that he is maintaining on the product backlog so that what they can do by bringing the stories onto the table so that here some discussion will happen with the between the product owner and the development team to decide what stories need to be developed and tested as part of the created sprint here product owner has created a sprint right in this particular sprint having some duration of two weeks let's assume in the two weeks duration okay this development team need to work on some requirements. They have to develop the requirements and test the requirements by the end of the sprint, right? That discussion will happen here. What stories, what stories, okay? What stories need to be confirmed for this sprint, okay? What stories can be done in this sprint? So product owner will simply say that I have prioritized the stories and this is what is the list of stories I want. Product owner may say that, uh, can you complete these five stories in this sprint? Like that product owner will ask the development team, okay? He'll give the list of five stories to the development team and say, and we'll ask him, okay, product owner will ask the development team, whether can you complete these five stories in this particular sprint that I created? Like that he will ask, he or she will ask. Then development team may or may not agree, okay? Development team means testing team and development team, both guys, okay? What stories to be completed or developed slash developed slash tested 
in this print okay this is what is the discussion based on so now here as part of the discussion guys okay there will be some discussion between product owner and development team on selecting the stories for this particular created sprint that need to be completed by the end of the sprint so as per the discussions guys based on some priorities based on some priorities and estimations what are estimations means you see every story is not same right every requirement is not same some requirements can be implemented and uh, tested fast some uh, some requirements okay some stories can be can take lot of time for coding or okay some stories will take lot of time for coding or testing right so the priorities will be considered and estimations will be considered while confirming the stories for the sprint okay based on the priorities and estimations some set of stories will be confirmed okay the development team and the product owner will get to an agreement okay get to an agreement where a confirmed okay get to an agreement where a confirmed list of stories to be completed okay to be completed by the end of the sprint will be decided okay in this particular sprint planning meeting so the develop, development team and product owner will decide a list of stories that can be completed in the sprint and those list of stories are selected based on the priorities and estimations okay so priorities you know okay every story is a different priority right uh, some login functionality is high priority contact us page is low priority like that we have similarly estimations also matter all the requirements will not take the same amount of time for development and testing right so some some stories can be completed faster some stories will take a lot of time for the development and testing based on that guys some estimations need to be done okay here product owner and development team okay the product during the sprint planning meeting the product owner and development team will sit together and do some estimations okay will do some estimations how do they estimate they have to give something known as one more terminology guys okay use they use use story points for estimations in order to estimate the stories that how much time the stories will take to either develop or test develop and test okay based on that okay the product owner and development team will do some estimations guys okay so and those are known as that estimations are known as story points okay the terminology is story points okay so there are few points related to the uh, this um, story points estimations guys okay so the points is whenever the product owner or development team that is a testing team and development team are estimating the stories they have to give rough estimations guys you see if someone ask you from your locality how to go to a another place okay some different the nearby place if you if they ask you like how much distance it will come can you give exact number like 11.56 kilometers can you say that no right you will simply say that it will come around uh, 8 to 10 kilometers like that you will say right around 10 kilometers it will come you will say but you will not give the exact number like 11.56 right so same thing here also guys when while you are estimating the stories okay while the product owner and development team that is testing and development team are uh, as part of the sprint planning meeting or estimating the stories right they have to give the story points and those story points as part of the estimations have to be given in the form of fibonacci series okay you have to give the estimations in the form of fibonacci series what is this fibonacci series guys here i'll say story points story point estimations estimations using fibonacci series fibonacci series what is fibonacci series guys coming to fibonacci series guys okay generally fibonacci series is like this it will start with zero then it will start uh, then one zero plus one is next number is one uh, this two numbers if you add one one you'll get two this last two numbers you add you'll get three this last two numbers you add two three you'll get five this last two numbers you have eight and so on guys okay eight eight plus uh, eight plus five thirteen okay thirteen plus eight thirteen plus eight twenty one and this process goes on guys okay this process this is what is fibonacci series guys okay the story points during the estimations by the product owner and the development team they don't have to estimate like uh, you cannot give four as a estimation point because in fibonacci series four is not there either you have to give three or five like that okay so only the numbers possible in the fibonacci series need to be given as a story estimation okay so that is another number one another rule case okay while during the sprint planning estimations will happen between the product owner and uh, um, 
the development team as part of the estimation of the stories and they have to give the estimation in the form of story points and those story points should be in the form of fibonacci series like okay they cannot give four or you cannot give something like nine or seven or something like that. okay that is not possible because those numbers are part not part of the fibonacci series so guys based on the story points guys based on the story points okay so the product owner and uh, the development team will come to an agreement uh, where a confirmed list of stories to be completed by the end of this created sprint by the product owner will be confirmed okay by the end of this sprint meeting the confirmed list of stories for this particular sprint will be decided that's what is the purpose of the sprint planning meeting okay that's why product owner conducts a sprint planning meeting where he will sit with the development team and he will estimate the stories and decide the number of stories that need to be completed by the end of the just now created sprint that's what is a sprint planning meeting guys so these are the different activities that a product owner will perform guys uh, he will create epics he will create the user stories he will create a, uh, he will maintain this product backlog stories in the product backlog he will create a sprint he will conduct a sprint planning meeting where he will get the con he will decide the confirmed list of stories that need to be completed by the end of this sprint and all those stuff by sitting with the development team right so all these things are done by the product owner now the next the next one guys we are done with the product owner here okay as part of this we are done with the product owner scrum role we have the next role as development team role okay there is one more role that is i'll just move it down okay second role is we have the development team guys okay so i'll explain about the development team now development team i told you already right development team will contain all the team members who are working on the project as part of development and testing okay all the members of the team who are working on the project as part of development and testing will fall into will fall into a team known as development team in agile in agile scrum methodology there is no developer there is no tester everyone is called as a development team guys okay so some people will also call them as scrum team okay that's okay fine so here what this uh, team who need to perform development and testing has to do in this as part of this uh, agile scrum methodology implemented projects as part of development and testing so they will start working on the user stories guys okay once the okay so one more thing guys uh, here uh, there are few more points i before i need to before i come to the development team there are few more points i forgot here so once the stories are confirmed what the product owner will do i didn't complete guys okay again let's expand this so once the sprint planning meeting is over now product owner got the list of stories that uh, the development team can complete by the end of the sprint okay they, he got the agreement from the development team that this many stories they can complete by the end of the sprint then what the product owner will do is he will immediately okay he will immediately assign this okay he will move the move the selected list of stories okay so here i'll simply say sprint backlog guys first of all i'll say sprint backlog so product owner what he will do with the sprint backlog is like product backlog there is one more backlog known as sprint backlog for each and every sprint there will be a backlog okay so for each and every sprint for each and every iteration or sprint there will be a backlog guys that is called a sprint backlog so in this backlog product owner will move the list of the stories move the list of confirmed stories uh, move the list of the stories that can be that are confirmed that are confirmed by development team okay product owner will move the list of the stories that are confirmed by the development team and stated as can be completed by end of the sprint okay as per the sprint planning meeting there has a discussion happened right within a product owner and the development team that uh, these are the list of the stories as per the priorities product owner will talk about the priorities whereas the development team uh, kind of negotiate on the time uh, on the you know right estimates and all those stuff right so based on the story points and priorities right uh, they will decide a list of stories that can be completed by the end of the sprint that selected list of the stories that can be completed by the end of the sprint right that product owner will move those stories from the product backlog to the sprint backlog okay stories will be moved from the stories will be moved from the moved from the product backlog product backlog to sprint backlog sprint backlog okay by whom product owner will move the selected list of the stories that can be completed by the end of the store uh, in the, the sprint by the development team will be moved to the sprint backlog from the product backlog okay from the product backlog the stories will be moved to the sprint backlog okay 
so and then after moving the stories uh, the selected list of stories from product backlog to sprint backlog what the product owner will do he'll simply start the sprint guys okay he, he created a sprint here now he's starting the sprint starting the sprint means work will start the sprint iteration will start the de development and testing activities of this requirements should start right when this activity start guys then development will team will come into picture okay when this uh, sprint starts when the sprint is started by the product owner development team that is testing and development team will come into the picture so what are the activities that will be done by the development team during this uh, phase is development team and testing team will work on the user stories okay start working on the working on user stories that are assigned to the user stories that are assigned to the sprint okay that are assigned to the sprint by product owner right development team that is development developers and testers will start working on the user stories developers will start developing testers will do their testing activities on these user stories that are assigned to this current sprint by the product owner okay that's what they will do so guys once this store once the sprint starts here once the once the product owner starts the sprint guys okay once the product owner starts the sprint you will see something known as the product uh, you will see something known as a scrum board guys okay you will see something known as what a scrum board what is a scrum board is another terminology scrum board b o a r d okay once the product owner starts the sprint there will be something known as product uh, scrum board on the scrum board you will see all the stories that the development team and testing team can start working on i'll show you one image guys so that uh, this is what is a scrum board guys okay this is what is a scrum board so this is the link where you can find the scrum board and it will contain to do in progress and done states okay so if you scroll down here somewhere here there is an image for the scrum board guys this is what is a scrum board okay so you see the board option is selected here and uh, to do in progress done three states are there initially the stories will be there in the to do list okay initially before the developers and testers once the product owner start the sprint right the initially the user stories will be there in the to do list okay to to be completed list okay so when the when the uh, when the development team that is testers and developers want to start work on the stories right they will keep moving these stories to the right side okay based on the progress they will keep it in progress if the work is completed they will move to the done state by default they will be there in the to do state the stories added by the product owner to the sprint uh, after starting the sprint will be there in the to do state after that the developers and testers have to move this uh, stories to the right side okay while they are working they, the stories will be there in the in progress and once they are completed okay once the stories are completed that is development and testing is completed the stories will move to the last state okay done state so this is what is a scrum board guys okay to do in progress and done scrum board will contain to do in progress and done states okay this is what is a scrum board so development team are going to open the stories work on the stories complete the stories on the scrum board okay so in the jira tool i'll show you properly guys how the scrum board uh, looks like and uh, i'll i'll give a practical example anyhow for now we are going through the theory if you understand this theory theory only you can understand the jira tool guys that's why i'm covering the jira uh, that's why i'm covering all these concepts required for the jira tool first after that i'll explain the jira tool okay practical demonstration will be there at the end anyhow so first guys what will happen here is uh, uh, once the stories are displayed on the uh, to do list portion of the scrum board developers okay developers in the team what they will do is they will perform the different type of activities development activities they will perform okay for each and every user story that is there displayed on the scrum board okay for each and every user story that is there displayed on the scrum board developers will pick their stories and perform different development activities like this okay what are the different development activities that develop, developers can perform on these stories that are displayed on the scrum board uh, that is first developers need to understand the requirements okay by opening the stories uh, they will read the acceptance criteria and understand the requirements from that uh, acceptance criteria of the stories okay so then they will understand because why they have to understand the stories and all requirements and all because if they understand only they can develop the stories right otherwise what the developers have to do if they don't understand the uh, acceptance criteria and the stories and all they need to get it clarified from the business that is product owner okay they have to raise their questions to the product owner product owner has to answer the questions okay so that they have to understand that's the first point guys then they will create the design screens okay development team will create the designs for developing this requirement before actually coding right they will create the designs and then they will write the code for the uh, requirements okay for the required functionality they will create they will implement the code they will write the programming code for their particular application functionality 
softwares according to the uh, functionality requirements of these requirements. Then after that, developers, uh, once the code is written, guys, developers will perform the unit testing and integration testing of this uh, code that they have written just now for these uh, requirements. And and after doing that, guys, uh, testers may find some defects and uh, that that defects need to be, that defects uh, re that got reported to the developers, right? Testers, uh, testers reported uh, defects need to be fixed by the developers, right? Developers will have also have to fix the defects that are reported by the testers as part of these stories, okay? As part of this uh, develop stories, right? Uh, testers may test and uh, report some defects and developers have to fix them. And any other activities also can be there, guys. I'm just uh, giving a high level list of activities that developers generally perform on the stories, okay? Then next, uh, coming to the testers, guys, do, while developers are working on stories like this, how the, what the testers will do in the project, testers also will work on stories uh, in a different fashion. Okay, they have the different type of activities they will perform uh, perform on each and every user story that is add, added to this uh, scrum board or the sprint. Testers also need to understand the requirements, right? Like developers have understood the requirements for developing the software according to the requirements. Testers also have to understand the stories, okay, to, un uh, to understand the requirements so that uh, they can derive the testable requirements, right? They can derive the testable requirements, what can be tested and all. They also have to understand because they need to test it. Without understanding, they cannot perform testing. So testers also have to understand the stories and they'll create the test cases out of the stories, okay? Once they understand these uh, requirements in the stories, they'll create the test cases and also they will run the test cases and uh, fail the test cases, pass the test cases. For the failed test cases, they will report the defects, okay? Okay, for the failed test cases, they will report the defects. Then they will, uh, they will report the defects to the developers and developers have to fix them. Once the developers fix the defects, then they have to retest the defects, okay? Then they have to retest the defects that are stated as fixed by developers. And also the uh, and also the testers will perform several testing activities like uh, not only manual testing, right? Sometimes automation will be there in the project. Uh, different type of testings like security performance need to be performed by the team. All the type of testings that are required in the project also will be done by the testers, okay? And any other activities left out. So this is how the Development team will work on the stories uh, when the story when the sprint starts and uh, from the scrum board they can pick up the stories and they can start working on this kind of tasks. Okay, so this is what the development and testing team will do, guys. Next thing, guys, the next role. Okay, after so development and testing team will pick the stories and okay, developers and testers will work on the stories okay we'll work on the stories okay different activities i just now showed you right these, these are the different activities like similarly we have one more role guys okay after product owner after development team we have one more role one one more role in this agile scrum methodology implemented projects that is scrum master who is a scrum master then who is a scrum master guys scrum master means the one who monitors the project okay the Scrum Master is the one. Here, Product Owner is all about the business and creating the stories and assigning the stories to the sprint so that development team can start working, okay? He is a point of contact for the business. Whereas, development team is the one who is actually working. Whereas, Scrum Master is the one who is monitoring what the development team is working on. And not only monitoring, guys, he will drive the development team, okay? He will drive the development team without Scrum Master, okay? Without Scrum Master, it will be a bit difficult because you see, someone should be there in the project, right? To push the team and uh, go in a proper direction. If if the team is not going in a proper direction, Scrum Master is the one who will make the uh, testing team and development team to complete the stories by the end of the sprint, okay? As per the sprint goal, okay, the development team and testing team need to complete the stories by the end of the sprint, whatever the stories that are assigned, that is three stories or four stories or five stories for that particular sprint by the product owner to the sprint, right? Okay, development team has to complete by the end of the sprint. But Scrum Master is the one who will not be working on the, the stories. He'll be only overseeing the pro process, okay? The progress, how the progress of this uh, sprint going on, whether the development team will be able to complete the stories by the end of the sprint or not, okay? He'll be directing the development team to go in a proper direction and achieve the number of stories they need to complete by the end of the sprint okay that's what is the role of the scrum master guys okay that's why superman kind of uh, symbol is given right the image also somewhere here you see he is driving the team he is monitoring the team development team and driving them so that they can complete their 
stories by the end of the sprint okay by the end of the iteration this development team has to complete the task for that who is responsible scrum master is responsible he will monitor the things and he will drive the team to go in a proper direction so that they can complete the stories by the end of the sprint that's what is the scrum master guys okay scrum master monitors and drives the development team to finish their sprint goals okay that is sprint uh, stories and all they have to complete by the end of the sprint and apart from that as part of this monitoring and driving process guys okay to make that possible scrum master will conduct a meeting this is the second meeting as first meeting was uh, as you can see in this image guys the first meeting was sprint planning meeting so this was conducted between the product owner and the development team right but next type of meeting we have is a daily scrum meeting or daily stand up meeting okay this is called as daily stand up meeting or daily scrum meeting which is conducted by the scrum master this time okay this meeting is conducted by scrum master with the development team so let's go there so he conducts a meeting known as scrum master conducts a meeting known as daily stand up meeting okay let's write the role here okay so scrum master is the one who will take care of okay monitoring will monitor monitors the project okay and monitors the sprint uh, progress and all okay he monitors the sprint progress how the how the work is completing in the sprint he will monitor apart from that guys he will okay after uh, along with monitoring the uh, sprint progress he will drive the development team okay drive the development team so that okay the assigned stories assigned stories stories to the sprint are completed by the end of the sprint okay if something is not going in the direction scrum master will come into picture and he will drive the development team and give a plan where the development team has to complete the stories by the end of the sprint okay so that is what is the scrum master all about and the scrum master will conduct a meeting known as daily stand up meeting this daily stand up meeting is also known as daily scrum meeting okay daily scrum meeting you can also call this daily stand up meeting as daily scrum meeting also fine so what is this uh, meeting that is conducted by the scrum master which is known as daily stand up meeting or daily scrum meeting so guys every day okay so generally here assume that uh, this is one iteration okay sprint has been created who will create the sprint guys who will create the sprint product owner will create the sprint okay product owner has created the sprint okay so of how much duration he created two weeks he created okay two weeks duration sprint he created and uh, once and the sprint has been started by the product owner has started the sprint and uh, some stories got assigned to the sprint guys okay some stories got assigned to the sprint and by the end of this two weeks this three stories have to be completed okay this stories all the three stories have to be completed let's assume okay this is the process now two weeks means two weeks means how many working days actually two weeks means generally 14 days but not all days are working days here 14 days means only 10 working days right you have to remove the saturday and sunday right it offices will be closed on saturday and sunday so out of 14 days if you remove two to two weekends two into two that is four days if you remove you are left with four you are left with 10 working days uh, so this iteration is only for 10 working days in that case first day second day third day fourth day fifth day Sixth day, seventh day, eighth day, ninth day, and let's assume this is the tenth day. Okay, one first day, second day, third day, fourth day, fifth day, sixth day, seventh day, eighth day, ninth day, and finally last one is the tenth day. Like this, total ten days are there. Okay, like this, guys, there are total ten days. Okay, every day, guys, every day. The scrum master will conduct a meeting. Okay, the scrum master will conduct a meeting every day. first day he'll conduct second day he'll conduct third day fourth day he'll conduct fifth day he'll conduct sixth day he will conduct seventh day then eighth day he'll conduct ninth day tenth day he'll conduct what is that meeting which is conducted every day that is called as daily stand up meeting okay scrum master will conduct this meeting every day okay till the end of the sprint that meeting is known as daily stand up meeting that meeting is also known as daily scrum meeting guys okay so who will be attending this meeting along with the scrum master development team okay team attends this meeting okay development team attends this meeting conducted by the scrum master and the duration of this uh, daily stand up meeting or daily scrum meeting will be 
15 minutes okay max 15 minutes this will be max 15 minutes every day at same time right 15 minutes the meeting will be there and everyone every month that is a development team that is developers and testers who are part of this agile scrum project right uh, they have to attend this meeting for 15 minutes along with the scrum master okay so during this meeting right all these people will be standing okay they will not be sitting guys because less time is there they don't want to even waste that sitting time okay everyone will be standing scrum master also will be standing so what will happen during that meeting then okay in this meeting what will happen in this daily stand up meeting conducted by scrum master what will happen so here guys where are we now okay so how much work we have completed what is pending uh, are we blocked by something okay are we blocked by something like that all these kind of things will be discussed guys and scrum master need to provide the solution and people also have to give their uh, activities like yesterday i worked on this and uh, currently i am in progress of this and i will be completing this in one or two days like that people will keep on talking guys each and every uh, development team member will inform the scrum master what they are working on okay how much work is still left by how much time they can finish this uh, work how much time more time they need to finish up this work and uh, if there is anything that is getting blocked and uh, because of that blockage this development team is unable to proceed further these people will inform the scrum master okay like that so all these kind of things will be discussed guys during the scrum this is uh, a daily uh, daily stand up meeting or daily scrum meeting all these things will be discussed uh, regarding the progress of the sprint regarding the progress of the sprint they will be discussing okay and uh, along with that okay uh, uh, sprint progress will be discussed simple terms sprint progress will be discussed okay what are we working now okay each and every development team member will say what are we working now what i am working now okay what is pending how much more time it will take to complete okay and um, uh, any any blockages which are stopping the development team from completing their work okay any risk points so that uh, this uh, stories that are got assigned to the sprint cannot be completed on time anything like that all the things will be discussed guys and uh, okay during the daily stand up meeting and also scrum master will use a chart known as burn down chart okay apart from hearing from the development team uh, about the progress of the project scrum master will also use a chart or create a chart known as burn down chart what is this burn down chart i'll tell you guys okay so there is a chart known as burn down chart guys okay so you can google search uh, for burn down chart guys okay burn down chart just google search for this burn down chart and uh, in the search results you will get this wikipedia link just click on that link in the wikipedia link if you see a chart here or diagram here guys there is a big chart here right this is what is a burn down chart guys okay it contains uh, how many stories okay uh, points how many uh, these are the story points guys, okay zero to total 30 points need to be completed in this much of time that is uh, maybe here 20 working days are there okay for this particular sprint they have assigned 20 working days that is four weeks okay and uh, total points are 30 points 30 story points are there and if ideally completed guys okay if this story points are ideally completed in 20 days it will be like this okay ideal line is blue line so if the team has worked properly they can complete like this with the line of the blue line okay so you see total 20 days are left by the end of the five days you see, at the end of the five days, uh, ideally the team has to complete how many stories? Almost ten stories. They have ten points. They have to complete. Okay, ten story points. They have to complete. Let's say at the end of the ten days, the team has to complete ideally this blue line. I am checking. Ideally, they have to complete fifteen points. Okay, and uh, at the end of the fifteen days, the team has to complete around. You see uh, how many points they completed till here, from top to here, guys. You have to calculate. Okay remaining points left are like seven points or uh, six points are left so 24 points they completed by the end of the 20 days the team has to complete they should not be left with any more points all the points should be completed okay like that they keep on reducing the number of story points by the end of the 20 days okay but blue is the ideal line whereas red color line is the actual work 
okay sometimes you see the team uh, maybe at uh, after 5 days right the team is not on track you see uh, they have to complete actually as per the expectations as per the ideal ideal thing the team has to complete around 10 points but uh, by the end of the 5 days they didn't complete 10 points uh, they completed only like uh, some 6 points okay from here to here if i calculate only 6 points they completed 6 story points four, four three or four more story points are still pending okay they are lagging behind team is lagging behind so like this guys using this bond down chart the scrum master uses this bond down chart to dis- decide the progress of the sprint okay how the development team is working in the sprint we can find it out okay so this is called as bond down chart guys okay to check the actual progress of the sprint okay sprint work the scrum master will use a chart known as bond down chart this is what is bond down chart so hope guys you understood what exactly the scrum master will do right okay scrum master will conduct a meeting known as daily stand up meeting or daily stand, stand, uh, stand uh, scrum meeting every day 15 minutes every day will be there where every progress will be calculated along with the scrum master will use a chart known as bond down chart and uh, using the bond down chart uh, the scrum master will get a clarification whether we will be able to complete the things on time or not if something is going out of track how to get the things into track okay that's what will be discussed so this is how the scrum master will monitor the pro, uh, sprint work progress and he will drive the development team to complete the stories assigned to the sprint on time okay by the end of the sprint so guys few more things are left out okay few more things almost there the concepts after that we'll start the practical demonstration of the jira tool okay once you understand this concepts understanding the jira tool is nothing okay understanding this jira tool is nothing fine next one is the sprint review meeting guys okay so here next thing after scrum master i am saying one more meeting is there that is sprint review meeting guys you see first meeting was sprint planning meeting which happened between the product owner and the development team the next meeting happened with the scrum master and the development team that is daily stand up meeting or daily scrum meeting and now the third meeting guys that is called a sprint review meeting third meeting is a sprint review meeting what is the sprint review meeting when does it happen okay when does the sprint review meeting will happen i'll let you know okay okay so here once the developers and testers complete their stories right so earlier i showed you one link na uh, scrum board link let's go to the scrum board link once again so here guys this is a scrum board right let's say there are all the stories are moved to the done state here okay assume that in this on the scrum board Uh, there are uh, earlier there were some stories on the to do list in progress and done state right but now all the stories that are there on the scrum board has been moved to the done state okay the complete stories got moved to the done state here on this uh, scrum board at that point of time the development team and testing team okay development team and testing team need to demonstrate or demo the user stories to the product owner okay to the business product owner means business the one who knows the business okay whatever the developed and tested stories need to be demonstrated to the product owner who is the final one who need to approve the stories as completed who need to say that stories are completed after they go to the done state these developers and testers need to showcase these stories as completed to the product owner that the one who knows the business very well so if he feels that the the if he feels that this particular stories are really developed and tested properly then he will approve the you will review the stories and approve the stories guys okay so this is what will happen in the sprint review meeting sprint review meeting this is a third meeting here in the image and this will happen between the product owner and the development team again okay the product owner and the development team again it will happen guys and during this meeting guys okay the development team need to showcase or demo the user stories that they have completed okay to the product owner for his acceptance product owner who knows the business well need to review the stories and accept if they are if the stories are okay okay once all the stories are accepted the sprint will end okay as part of the review meeting sprint review meeting okay as part of the sprint review meeting so here scrum role okay this uh, scrum master thing is also done now come into the product owner guys okay the la- another meeting i told you right here the after scrum master thing is over another meeting is what is that meeting guys sprint review meeting will be conducted by the product owner where development team showcases that is demos the completed 
user stories completely developed and tested user stories to the product owner and product owner need to product owner reviews and accepts okay or rejects also the stories like this this is what happens in the sprint review meeting guys okay almost at the end of the sprint the completed stories need to be showcased uh, to the product owner and product owner need to either accept or reject the stories uh, based on the situation okay that is sprint review meeting assume that the product owner has completely accepted the stories that got showcased by the development team as part of the sprint the sprint will end right at this place what will happen you see after 10 days the sprint is going to end here the sprint has end guys okay this is starting of the sprint this is ending of the sprint once the sprint ends what will happen guys the next sprint has to start right again the next sprint has to start here okay so here this is the starting of the sprint this is ending of the sprint second sprint okay again 10 days the same process will continue okay but in between this first sprint and sprint, second sprint there will be another meeting happening another meeting will happen guys what is this meeting that meeting is known as retrospective meeting okay sprint retrospective meeting this is the last meeting guys here okay the last meeting that will be conducted at the end of every sprint not only first sprint okay first sprint is over meeting if the second sprinting sprint is also over here also one meeting will be conducted after the second sprint also another meeting will be conducted at the end of every sprint a meeting will be conducted that meeting is known as a sprint retrospective meeting guys okay that meeting is known as a sprint retrospective meeting what will happen in this sprint retrospective meeting i'll tell you now okay what will happen in this sprint retrospective meeting here is so the team will the team scrum master everyone will sit together in this meeting okay okay so the team uh, in the sprint retrospective meeting everyone all the team members development team scrum master and if required product owner also okay so they will sit together and they will discuss what went well what didn't went well and uh, what are the improvements we have to take care of for the next sprint so that next sprint will be more better than the current sprint okay so that we can do better work in the next sprint these are self evolving teams guys okay self uh, self organized and self motivating teams okay they are not only working okay here here a business team that is product owner the scrum master the development team that is testers and developers are not just working they are also self evolving self motivating self uh, modifying their work so that they can do better work in the next sprint okay every work is a challenge for them and they want to do better work the best work in the next sprint okay so that's why simply completing the sprint is not enough but uh, what what are the best things that happened during the sprint okay what things didn't work out during the sprint they will understand and uh, discuss in this meeting and also they will decide what are the different improvements that we can take care of okay in the next sprint so that the same problems will not repeat or we'll get even more better results in the next sprint like that kind of things will be discussed in the sprint retrospective meeting another meeting guys okay <clears throat> so mostly i'll say the scrum master will be conducting this meeting okay so that is sprint retro perspective meeting okay so where development team will be attending along with the scrum master and sometimes product owner will come uh, development team uh, product owner okay all will be sitting here and they will be discussing on okay discussing on this sing on okay different things we will be discussing on different things like what went well in this sprint okay what went in well in this sprint what didn't went well in this sprint okay what didn't went well in this sprint improvements for getting better results improvements improvements that we can implement in next sprint next sprint so that same mistakes won't repeat or to get better results will be found out okay will be found during this meeting right during the discussions they'll find the 
different things uh, which uh, they can take care of in the next sprint so that uh, it will improve the process and all and they can do better in the next sprint okay so when does this uh, sprint retrospective meeting will happen when does this sprint retrospective meeting will happen at the end of okay end of every sprint it will happen guys at the end of every iteration in agile scrum methodology this retrospective meeting will happen it will be mostly conducted by scrum master and the other team members along with the product owner if required to discuss on the things okay so this is called as a sprint retrospective meeting guys and now just to conclude guys okay so all these meetings are known as ceremonies guys okay so here there are four different meetings we have discussed right like sprint planning meeting daily scrum meeting sprint review meeting and sprint retrospective meeting these are the different meetings that will happen during the agile scrum methodology these four meetings are generally known as as per the terminology these meetings are known as something known as ceremonies okay ceremonies what are they known as ceremonies here you see ceremonies ceremonies are nothing but meetings guys okay they are nothing but meeting what are the different meetings we have sprint first meeting is sprint planning meeting conducted by product owner with the development team and uh, second meeting is daily stand up meeting or daily scrum meeting conducted by scrum master with the development team then third one is sprint review meeting okay where the development team will showcase the completed stories to the product owner for his acceptance and fourth one is sprint retrospective meeting okay sprint retrospective meeting which will happen at the end of every sprint to discuss on what went well what didn't went well what improvements we can do for the next sprint and so on okay so with this guys the concepts that are required for understanding the jira tool are done guys now we have to get started with second part of this okay now we have to start with the second part of this session that is jira tool okay and how to use jira tool for agile management okay once you understood all this agile concepts right now you are in a good position to start using the jira tool and uh, understanding the stuff like uh, how the things are happening okay the different things that are there in the agile scrum methodology and all you will understand or you will practically see in the jira tool so that i am going to start now guys okay so let's get started with the jira agile management tool now so first let's close all this stuff guys fine now let's get started with the jira agile management tool so jira in simple terms is a tool guys which automates the agile management process okay so this jira tool automates the agile management process so that means you see we have discussed a lot of things right uh, like um, creating the sprint uh, creating the stories creating the epic moving the stories from product backlog to the sprint backlog right working on the stories on the scrum dashboard a lot of things are there right lot of things all these things if you put on an excel file or a word document you know it will be very hectic guys okay even the burn down chart okay for the for the scrum master to create a burn down chart it's not a easy thing right to estimate the stories to maintain the stories in an excel sheet and word document is not at all possible so that's why tool will make your job easy guys tool automates all these processes and makes our job very easy by presenting all this stuff all the functionalities that are required by the agile scrum methodology projects with ui interface kind of screens so that's what is agile management tool jira guys jira is one of the agile management tools available in the market which automates the agile management process and helps us in taking our project onto the agile scrum methodology process fine so what is the popularity guys i told you right jira is one of the popular agile management tools available in the market that means there are other tools also available in the market like version 1 and so on but jira is a number one in the market so what is the popularity of this jira tool so for that guys i conducted a survey on uh, on this test management tools on uh, linkedin and i got this result you yourself can check guys how popular the jira is as you can see here guys so this is my profile and as you can see in the comments uh, i was asking for what are the popular test or test management tools available in the market and uh, okay 
so you see a lot of people have answered like jira okay jira jira second time third time okay so now a lot of places you see fourth time jira somewhere other management tools are also there like version one all those term test link and all but jira is kind of uh, kind of uh, kind of you know right more times okay it was commented more times you see jira multiple people have commented that uh, jira is a uh, number one okay jira everywhere lot of places guys jira is uh, there in the results right so that's why we are going to learn jira guys as part of uh, automating the agile management process with the help of the tool known as jira jira is the number one so now i'll practically demonstrate how to use jira as part of agile uh, scrum methodology projects implemented projects so but before that guys uh, you have to understand one thing okay before going there you have to understand one thing is so jira using jira tool okay jira tool automates Jira tool automates agile agile process. Okay, agile process, agile Scrum process, or whatever it is, will be automated by the Jira tool. But test management, like creating the test cases or executing the test cases, that is not possible or not there by default. Okay, by default, Jira only have the functionality for. By default, Jira only has the functionality for automating the agile process, like uh, uh, creating the epics, creating the stories, create, uh, and moving, uh, creating the sprint and moving the stories from product backlog to sprint backlog, and working on the st uh, stories on the Scrum board. All these things are possible with Jira. By default, Jira has that functionality, but Jira doesn't have test management capabilities where we can create the test cases or we can execute the test cases. That thing is not there. To get that uh, Okay, to get that functionality is also available with Jira. On the top of Jira, guys, we have to install some plugins, okay? Or applications we have to install. Jira plus Zephyr, okay? There's something known as Zephyr. Okay, Zephyr plugin we have to install on the top of the Jira because by default, Jira only comes with the Agile process, okay? Functionalities. But uh, if you also want test management, okay? Test management functionalities in Jira. On the top of Jira, guys, you have to install this Zephyr, okay? On the top of Jira, Jira, if you install Zephyr, you will get now both Agile process and test management. As you can see here, guys, by default, Jira doesn't have the features for supporting test management. Okay, only Jira automates Agile process, but Jira with a Zephyr plugin will contain Agile plus test management. Okay, with Zephyr, you will get the test management capabilities in Jira, guys. By default, Jira functionality doesn't have, Jira tool functionality doesn't have test management capabilities. In order to get this extra test management capabilities in Jira along with Agile process, we have to install Zephyr plugin. Okay. Zephyr or X ray. X ray is also another one, guys. Okay. So both are competitors. Zephyr and X ray are competitors as part of test management area. So on the top of Jira, we can either install Zephyr or X ray to get the test management capabilities. But by default, Jira only has the functionalities or features in the tool related to the agile process okay agile process automates agile process fine hope guys you understood what exactly jira is and uh, why we have to use the fire with jira to get the extra test management capabilities now guys let's uh, let's uh, go with the practical stuff let's uh, start with jira so in order to start with jira guys either you can click on this link from this note or you can simply search in google here say jira simple words say jira here now Click on this link atlassian.com products Jira. Click on that. The moment you click on that, guys, uh, you will get this option like uh, Jira is the number one software development tool used by Agile teams. Get it free will come. Okay. Either here or here, you just click on get it free. You'll be taken to this page. And here you'll be given some options like Jira software. You want Confluence or Jira service management. This UI may change, guys. Okay. Every time this UI may change for this date and uh, this year. This is what the things are coming, but select the things properly, guys. Uh, uh, at your time zones and all. Okay, so some some people may not get all these options. Okay, so earlier I was getting a different use, different UI here. Now I'm getting a different UI. But I'll I'll take a proper choice like Jira service management. I'll select and click on next, guys. So sign up process is coming. So here, guys, uh, I'll say sign up, uh, sign in with a different Atlassian account. Okay, add another account. Okay, 
so maybe otherwise uh, yeah here it's asking me for the email address so i'll give some email address so i'll say arun at the rate qfox.com i'll give this email address continue full name arun motori i need to sign up guys okay just click on sign up done check your inbox okay this kind of stuff is coming check your inbox is coming so i'll go and uh, see whether i got any email okay just let me check uh, whether i got any email okay, let's see yeah i got one email yeah what is this email from the same right uh, display now at least you only verify your email is coming click on the verify your email so now it's asking me for the password guys i'll give some password okay it's good only i'll give it again yeah fine sign up i'm creating an account with jira guys free account okay yeah done mostly done let's wait yeah and here some site name it is asking you don't need to have any website guys okay you just give something here for example i am going to work on this tutorials in application let's say as part of this project so i'll give simply tutorials in the name here okay i'll give tutorials in the here tutorials ninja let's say this site is already taken okay it's saying that site is already taken so i'll say to tutorials ninja 9 okay let's see what will happen if it is there yeah it's there tutorials ninja 9 some some name i am giving guys you can give any name here and click on agree so the account will be created in a while i'll close all the unnecessary stuff now okay so now you got this uh, screen where uh, you don't have to select anything guys okay welcome to jira software arun you don't have to select anything simply say skip question again it's asking for some more options again say skip question you don't have to do anything there so it will take some time okay let it load it's loading guys let's wait for the process to complete here one moment your site is starting up when you get in explore all products you are evaluating jira software jira service management like that some messages are there here and this uh, thing loading is happening yeah loading is almost done i got the screen okay this one right i have to select this is the older account guys okay i will choose this account current account just now i created the drive right? i'll choose that one fine i got select some tools now and we'll help you connect them later okay i don't have to select any tools guys i'll simply say skip it'll be taken to this page it's asking you whether you want to invite any team members or so at this moment i don't want to invite any team members okay so i'll unselect everyone okay let my team members invite other people to our side okay i'll uncheck everything and see i will not invite anyone guys so another screen came help us set up your jira software came skip it that's it and you are on this uh, software development page where you are given the options of uh, you, need, you see Uh, Scrum is one of the methodology under Agile, and similarly, Kanban is also another methodology. Whether you want to use uh, Scrum methodology in this project or we want to use Kanban Agile methodology in this project, as mentioned, I explained only about Scrum in this uh, session, right? So I'll go with the Scrum methodology for this uh, session. Okay, so I'll select the Scrum guys. Now here, uh, simply you will get an option like use template. Either you can select here, or you can select use template here. Anything is fine. Click on that. and in the next type choose a project type you want team managed or company managed so better to go with the company managed guys okay set a company managed project is better one okay so fine so select a company managed uh, which one is more advanced okay company managed is kind of advanced so i'll go with the company managed fine so after that add project details i have to give the name of the project guys i'll give the name of the project as uh, tutorials ninja is the name of the project okay let's say this is the project i want to work on okay this is the project okay i'm working on as part of this so i'll give this project name as tutorials ninja uh, i want to give the shortcut okay 
uh, I want to set this key to TN. Why this TN is required? Okay, you have to understand here, guys. Based on the project name, some key got generated, but uh, I changed the K2 back to TN because what happens with this key is whatever you create, whatever the epics you create, whatever the stories that get created, okay, in this uh, using the Jira software, right? They will start with TN code. Okay, TN means tutorial Sinja code. TN iPhone 001 like that it will start guys okay it may be epics it may be stories it can be defects it can be test cases okay anything guys that you create under the jira tool all those items okay stories epics uh bug repo bugs and all those stuff okay test case and all will have this tn extension okay uh t it will they will start with this tn key code okay you see if i click on this you see choose a descriptive prefix for your project issue keys to recognize work from this project okay like that so click on create project this is short code which comes with every issue and all and the stories and all okay create project you will see that soon okay tn you just remember the tn guys i'll show you fine you see guys you are you are landed here and uh, assume that uh, i created this jira okay i got sign up to this jira tool with the help of with the help of what guys my one of my email uh, email address i have created an account here on jira tool i assume that i am the admin okay so let's write down here so i use this email address guys arun at the rate at the rate qfox.com i used uh, to create the jira tool assume that i am the admin right i i created this software so i sign up for the software and uh, i didn't invite any other people so i am by default i use arun at the rate qfox.com email address for the admin account okay and i got landed here fine so i will i am not going i am not going to work on this uh, uh this active sprints or backlog because i am not the product owner right uh, my role is admin role okay i am a admin guys okay i am just the admin okay i am just the admin so and which browser it is uh, which browser guys this is the chrome browser okay so i'll write the chrome browser here chrome browser okay in chrome browser i created the jira tool account account for the jira tool as an admin okay that's what we have done next guys uh, next thing is that admin is not going to do anything he is only going to set up right so this is the project guys this is the project so for, what if uh, uh, i log out or something if i have to sign in again okay let's see what will happen if i try to sign in again i'll log out from the jira tool again i want to come back here so if i have logged in logged out okay then again if i type jira here and again i'll go to the same website atlassian.com products uh, jira click on this jira and here again i should not again i don't want to create an account for free because i already have an account right uh, if i have already logged out okay if i have already logged out and if i want to sign in what is the process i am going to show you okay so like this will come guys okay when i type jira here the google and uh, i'll click on this and i'll be taken to this page uh, as you can see i have to log in right already i created the account i don't want to create account so i'll simply say my account and click on the login guys i'll give my credentials again so i gave these credentials okay whatever the credentials i create right i'll give the same credentials to login you say i got logged in okay after i log in guys what i have to do is if i click on this jira software okay i'm not getting anything Okay, under the projects, I'm not getting any, anything. If you are also facing the same problem, click on this Jira option, guys. Click on the Jira. Okay, so here you will see the project that you have created. Like this, you can create any number of projects, guys. Okay, this is one of the project I created. Click on that project. Now you'll get this here. Okay, you see whatever the dashboard you got earlier that is coming here. The functionality is coming, active sprint, backlog, and all those stuff. But I am just an admin. Okay, I'm just an admin, guys. So what I will do here is what I will do here is uh, I'll simply click on the settings. Okay. I, because admin will not create any stories or epics or something, right? Okay. Even though admin has the facility to create something here, but admin is the, not the right person. Only account creation is, will be done by Jira tool setup will be done by admin, but uh, the admin will not uh, create the epic stories and all those stuff. Okay. That's why. The admin after creating this account at jira tool you click on the settings and go to the user management here okay remember this guys click on the settings and go to user management and in the user management 
okay so, uh, it will come like need permissions but after a while it will load guys okay otherwise you refresh the page it will be uh, you see now here this kind of stuff will come so next next done something okay so here i need to invite the members okay i want to invite three people guys one person should act like a product owner okay one person need to be acting like a product owner other one is like a developer otherwise is a tester okay for sample i am taking three roles so that i can explain you the so that guys i can explain you the jira tool right i need three roles here one is product owner other one is developer and tester i want okay so for product owner i'll give some email ids guys okay i'll just give some email ids okay that i have um whatever the email id is i have i'll give here so that i can show you all the process uh, this one is uh, this email address i'll give first i'll invite uh, sorry something got pasted here let me copy it properly copy let me paste it here first and if i get email address i'll copy paste here okay so i'll go here guys i'll go to this and uh, invite the this one this uh, this uh, email address belongs to i'll write down here just for making a note so reels ninja videos at the rate email dot com this is one email address i am using for uh, i want to make this person as a product owner okay product owner and uh, yeah fine for now let's invite this person from admin i am adding the users guys okay i am first adding the i am inviting the product owner now go to the gmail and uh, search uh, you may be getting one email guys okay to the gmail uh, of this you may get uh, some email let's wait no email has been received till now okay this is correct only na let's refresh once sometimes it will take some time guys okay so let's wait for some time Also check in spam if it go on to any spam or something. No, there is no 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 spam thing. So I'll wait for a while. Finally, I got a email, guys. It took some time. Okay, this uh, email didn't came immediately. It took some time. Okay, your team is waiting for you to join. Then this kind of email came to this email address. So click on that, open that email, and say join the team. That's it. Okay. Just simply say join the team, guys. Okay, so it's asking you to create an account. So what we'll do here is I right click copy link address. I'll open a new, uh, new browser, guys. I'll choose another browser window for this. Let's say I'll open this uh, thing in the Firefox browser. Paste and go. So on the button, I right clicked and copied that URL and pasted here. Okay, so here I'll. So I need to. It's asking for the password, guys. Okay, log into your account. Uh, I don't have an account actually. So what will happen if I? Directly give here. Let's see. Incorrect email address or password. Uh, so there is no account with this email address. So I need to create an account, guys. Okay. I need to create an account. So for this, I'll give name as. Uh, I'll give the name as product owner, guys. Okay. Product owner is the name so that you can understand who is the product owner and all. Product owner. Uh, Ravi, I will say. Okay. Some some name, Ravi. And say sign up. Just uh, continue. I didn't give any password. Again, it will say you don't. I just said sign up, right? Okay. So okay, one minute. Let me give it again. Ravi, PO. Okay. Pure means product owner. Sign up. Okay. Okay. It looks like there's an account, guys. I'll I'll not uh, go with this one then in that case because I have already used this email. It seems. So what I will do is I'll uh, delete this. Okay. One minute. Uh, let me just create setting up the process is a bit uh, difficult, guys. Sometimes. Okay. So just be with me. Go to the user management and uh, tutorial ninja is occupied, so I have to send the email to another account. So I'll give another email uh, because this one is already there. So I'll choose another email, guys. Okay, 
this one I'll take. I click copy, I'll paste it here and I'll invite the members. I'll send invites to a few more emails uh, because it will waste our time otherwise. This email also I'll try. I need to create accounts, guys, okay, for these people again. Whoever I'm in inviting, right, for them also accounts should be there. That's a the problem. So here I'll invite people. Okay, so I'll close this. Already invites have been sent for some emails. Uh, this email also I'll try to send. The screen is coming, Jira, Jira software, user, invite users. Done, one more. Uh, let's see whether I got any email to any of the things. No, it will take some time, I know. Any other emails I have, I'll try. Here also, uh, I have one email account, guys. One more. I'll try all my emails. Uh, I will give different roles for different people, okay? different emails. That's what I'm trying to do trying to create a realistic approach where uh, not only admin, but product owner, developer, tester I want. So three email accounts I need to set up. Okay, so this is another email account that I wanted to try. This one I'll take. Close that, fine, okay. Invite user, test it, and uh, select invite users. Fine, invitations done. So just let me refresh this emails once, whether I got any email from not it. This one, no. This one also, I'll keep it open. So here, uh, my plan here is to already we 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 created a we created an account with the Jira tool with this uh, uh, admin credentials for this email address and on the Chrome browser. So second one, product owner. We tried for this one, but this one. I have already used it seems long back. Okay, so I'll remove that. So now I'm trying to go for other emails uh, which may not be occupied. Jira too. So I'll pass, guys. I'll pass this video and resume this video. Okay, I'll pass and resume this video. Once uh, I get the emails, I'll resume. Okay, I got uh, this email, guys, for one of the email address. I'll go here and I'll right click on this button, join the team button, copy link address. I'll open the Firefox browser and paste it here. So fine. Okay, so what is the full name? Testing by our own is the email address. For that, I'll say uh, PO. PO. I'll give some name. Okay, so let's say Baskar. Okay, PO Baskar. Password. And this is for sign up, right? I have to sign up. I'll give the password and say sign up. Yeah, account has been created for the PO. Uh, for product owner, I created an account, guys. Okay, for admin, already the account is there. The Chrome browser here, I, I opened the product owner thing in the Firefox. Firefox browser. And uh, email address I have used is uh, testing by Arun at the rate uh, gmail.com. Okay. Now, the next one, guys, I need to create uh, a developer developer account at Jira and also a tester account at Jira. These two are pending. Yeah. Here for the PO guys, okay, skip questions, skip question. Skip it. Okay, so now we are at the PO location. Okay. 
so instead of wasting your time guys what i will do is okay so since i am a po okay this person right who what is the name of the person po baskar okay po baskar is the product owner assume that okay this person this person is entitled to select this backlog option can you see here backlog option is there right select this backlog option okay as a po we have to select the backlog option and we have to create few stuff here okay like epic science stories we have to create now let's do that okay now let's do that so if you go back here to the notes first as an admin we created the jira and uh, as an admin we have sent the invites to the product owner that's what happens during real time guys admin will create the account at jira and uh, admin will invite the other users to that uh, jira tool so admin has invited the product owner that is po baskar okay product owner name is po baskar he invited so now using the invitation product owner has selected the backlog option right here this firefox browser is product owner okay yes selected the backlog option and here the first thing he has to do is yes click on the version guys okay there are two things here you see versions and epics are there before you create the epics you have to select the versions and here under the versions create a version guys so project name is tutorials ninja version name is version version 1 okay you don't have to do these are two mandatory fields guys i am not filling the non mandatory fields i'll simply say create the version has been created after the version has been created then i'll select this epics and i'll get this epics functionality here okay who is working here whose account this is product owner okay as a product owner i am doing all these activities i went to the backlog option backlog page and i created a version now i am creating the epic i'll create an epic guys okay click on the epic okay like this okay just say cancel here i'll show you again here create epic option is coming right after selecting epic here this epic uh, pane has come and from here you have to say create epic and this dialog will come tutorial ninja dialog and uh, issue type is by default epic type if you click on this you will get other issue types okay but i'll go with the epic i want to create an epic so what is the name of the epic if you remember guys uh, here somewhere i have a template right this template i already showed you right as part of explaining the agile concepts and all i showed you this template what is a temp what is an epic larger requirement okay epic is a larger requirement stories are there for this epic now we are in a process of creating epic okay so here the product owner is creating the epic guys the jira tool for that i'll not do any hard work guys i'll copy all this okay the uh, the de details about the epic i'll i'll have to give some name of the epic guys the the details have to copy this particular details have to copy in the summary but here i have to give some name to the epic so for a new e-commerce website to launch the is business value will be where okay a new user is able to register login search and purchase an item from the website okay i have to make it short and give a name here okay so new user okay register and purchase like this short form i'll give for the name okay epic name i'm giving new user register and purchase items like this i'll give the epic name and this is the summary of the epic and simply create the epic guys like this you can create uh, uh, the product owner can create any number of epics only one epic has created you see the epic has been created with this uh, this short code tn tn hyphen 1 okay tn hyphen 1 the next item will be tn hyphen 2 and so on because uh, while creating the project right the short form tn was there right that short form or short code will be used for all the items in this uh, in this uh, jira tool okay for this project fine anyhow so once the epic is created we can create multiple epics guys okay we can create multiple epics okay tn1 is one epic like that we can create one more epic if you want i don't have anything so sample to epic i will say okay summary of sample to epic okay i'm just creating some dummy data okay because in this sheet right i only have one example i didn't create multiple examples okay i'll go with this example and i'll just show you like multiple epics can be created this first epic tn1 second epic tn2 one more epic i will create sample epic 3 i will say all these things are being done by okay product owner product owner is creating this epic guys okay summary for sample epic 3 create now three epics got created now guys uh, what i want to do is i want to 
okay yeah, once epics are created now i want to uh, create the story stories are nothing but the smaller requirements right this uh, larger requirement that is epic has been broken down into multiple shorter requirements known as stories right each and every epic has its own stories so i'll start creating the stories now as a product owner i want to create the stories how to create the stories i can create from here or the best way is to click on this create button guys okay click on this create button not to create the stories click on this create button so when you click on create button you will get create issue by default it is coming as epic change that to story guys okay click on change this epic to story here this is how simple it is now here we need to give the summary that is title of the story guys the title of the story is this one as a first time user to the e-commerce website i want to register my account so that i can log into the application let me paste it here so that uh, it will become a single sentence now i'll cut it and uh, as a product owner okay i'll paste it okay this is a summary of the story that is title of this uh, first story and he, uh, as a product owner guys while creating the story uh, i may attach some associated documents or screenshots or whatever it is okay if i have any additional documents to support this story right that will help the developers or testers in doing the work better right i can attach them and uh, here in the description i'll write the acceptance criteria acceptance criteria for this story okay acceptance criteria for this story i'll write i'll make it bold here so here under this acceptance criteria instead of typing everything my own what i will do here is uh, where is that sheet okay this is the sheet here acceptance criteria already created guys i'll copy paste this okay i don't want to waste time so i'll simply copy paste it as a product owner i am writing the acceptance criteria this is the acceptance criteria okay ensure the first time visitor is able to and all those stuff and uh, who is actually creating this story guys uh, the product owner baskar is creating that and um, anything i have to do issues uh, fix versions no assignee i'll say automatic for now priority i have to give guys you see the, the one of the task of the product owner is to not only create the stories but also you need to prioritize the stories okay so the story is related to register account register account means highest priority okay so i'll give highest priority to this okay this is highest priority these are the different priorities possible for uh, a story to be given by the product owner product owner can assign any any priority for this story highest priority i'll assign okay and uh, epic i can attach this story to the epic guys okay what is epic guys uh, epic we have new user register and purchase items key and one is the epic okay correct epic you have to choose you, you see multiple epics are coming you have to choose the perfect epic for this particular story belongs to and uh, sprint no sprint has been created so far so sprint will be blank click on create guys okay the story will be created you see story got created and where exactly the story is coming where the story is added backlog what is this backlog means product backlog okay product owner has created the stories and is now maintaining the stories under product backlog here okay this is what is a product backlog is here only one story is there similarly i can create multiple stories guys click on create story is selected here no problem uh go to the sheet and uh, take the next story guys take the next one next user story copy this come back here and paste the summary title of the story as a register user i want to log into the website so that i can see my account details here in summary and any attachments here acceptance criteria i have to give acceptance criteria okay of the story i have to make it bold a bit and after that i need to give the acceptance criteria also i will copy paste this acceptance criteria which is already created and explain to you now here who is reporting who is creating this story again the same product owner is creating the story and uh, will uh, assign assign this story to the developer or tester automatically and priority this is also login is also highest priority guys for me according to me login is also highest priority so i'll say highest and uh, here uh, epic link i will say the same epic okay epic one first epic okay and say create two stories now in the product backlog we have two stories added by the product owner i'll create one more story as a product owner i'll create one more story here the third story this is a third story so whatever the stories i am having i'm adding them to the product backlog okay i'm adding them to the product backlog one by one again acceptance criteria like this product owner will be creating the stories guys after creating the epic and all the product owner will be creating the stories one by one so this is acceptance criteria of this story i'll copy and paste 
donor the medic so what is the story all about uh, logout functionality maybe i'll give just uh, i'll not give high highest or something i'll give uh, some kind of low low priority for this okay one of the priority for this story one of the story which is of low priority is uh, logout functionality let's say epic the same epic as new user register and purchase item in the epic name click on create now we have three stories uh, in that uh, these are high priorities this is the low priority uh, and uh, last one i think i as a sample i'll be adding four stories for now okay not more than that in real time the product owner will be adding more stories but uh, now as far as per the demo i'll not be creating multiple many stories i'll be just creating four stories as part of the epic so here acceptance criteria criteria and i'll just uh, make it bold and uh, i'll go back here and copy paste the acceptance criteria for this story done click on so just reporter is pio basker and uh, automatic and uh, so this one is uh, search functionality guys i feel search functionality is of high priority so epic same epic click on create like this okay this four stories belong to the first epic guys similarly there can be other stories for the other two epics also here multiple epics are there right for the first epic these are the four stories similarly i can create few more stories so i'll simply say uh, i'll just give the number guys okay story story 5 for sample epic 2 i'll say okay intentionally i'm creating this guys okay i'm not creating an acceptance criteria here and uh, i'll just give some random things i'll just set, set this to uh, kind of lowest and uh, epic i'll choose the epic as this uh, for sample epic 2 and uh, click on create so as per the sheet guys if i go according to the sheet guys okay this uh, second epic okay second dummy epic has uh, two stories 5 and 6 okay so i'll create two stories here accordingly create sample story otherwise story story 6 for sample epic 2 okay epic 2 i'll say and uh, here i'll give the priority as yes. i'll set it to medium guys till now there is no medium priority i'll set it to medium and epic link i'll say epic 2 and click on create done now we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 stories now seventh story story seven for sample epic three let's say okay and here okay here also medium i'll take and uh, epic link i'll set it to sample epic three now two more stories i will create and after that uh, i'll i'll stop okay story eight for sample epic three okay i'll change this to lowest and epic is a uh, three we can create like this product owner will keep on creating the stories guys in the product he will be maintaining the stories in the product backlog he is already prioritizing the stories anyhow while creating the stories itself he is giving the priorities story it is done nine i'll go for nine for sample epic three and uh, here i'll set it to high and uh, epic as uh, three click on create done okay done guys uh, list of stories uh, that product owner wanted to add have now been completed but during the project guys during multiple iterations the product owner may come across few more stories few more epics okay during the project while the project is going on product owner will come across lot of epics and stories he can continue adding into the product backlog all the stories that he, that the product owner adds will by default fall into the backlog first okay so the uh, the requirements are not freeze till product owner can keep on creating the epics and stories here okay there is no limit till the end of the project he can keep on adding the epics and stories to this product backlog okay to this product backlog he can keep on adding the stories what is the next thing guys okay what after this here the product owner has created the version epic and after that he created the user stories right for different epics and all now the next thing is he want to 
he want he will create a sprint guys okay product owner will create a sprint next activity for the product owner is to create a sprint guys i'll show you how to create a sprint okay so i'll show you how to create a sprint just a product owner will click on create a sprint so now the moment he said create a sprint right sprint backlog has come here okay the sprint backlog has appeared here this is the product backlog and this is the sprint backlog okay so now now the next thing is okay create sprint uh, this is done one minute edit sprint sorry let me delete this guys okay delete sprint i'll create it again so something missing uh, one minute i'll close this i'll say create sprint and you see the details are not coming here guys okay while i'm while i created a sprint right by default it is not asking me for the details of the sprint i'll simply click on this three dots and say edit sprint here while editing the sprint this is the sprint one guys okay so this is the first iteration or first sprint and uh, duration is uh, you can either set it for one week or two weeks or product owner can set it for one two three or four weeks generally in most of the projects it will be set to two weeks that is 10 working days okay starting day is today today right 26 is starting day ending day is automatically taken that is february 9th is the last day so you can even mention the sprint goal like what you want to achieve by the end of the sprint if you don't have anything just say update that's it product owner has created this sprint guys sprint one has been created by product owner and this is a sprint backlog and this is for the sprint backlog for the first sprint and this is the product backlog where uh, the stories that can be assigned to the back uh, sprint are waiting here in the product backlog now what next year is now product owner as part of the process will conduct a meeting known as sprint planning meeting with the development team that is developers and testers and uh, where they will discuss on okay the list of stories uh, the developers and uh, testers can complete uh, in this first sprint okay in this 10 working days so product owner will present these stories okay these stories that, that are in the product backlog uh, to the development team and uh, with their acceptance uh, he will decide how many stories they can there will be some mutual discussions happening between the product owner and the development team right uh, based on like what stories they can complete in the sprint okay like the discussion will happen based on the discussion let's assume that okay so based on the discussion guys uh, what they will do is uh, they will assign some estimations to these stories guys okay during this sprint during the sprint planning meeting the product owner and development team will estimate the stories guys will they will estimate the stories let's estimate the stories uh, this is the first story right let's click on this as uh, register account click on this the story details will come here there is something known as uh, story points here story points click on this here estimations should happen okay in fibonacci series so let's say for register account it will take five story points let's assume okay five story points second one as per the mutual discussions between the product owner and uh, development team that is developers and testers right these story points are being confirmed the confirmed story points we are adding here for example this one takes eight login functionality and uh, logout functionality let's say it takes uh, just three points let's add let's give three points okay then three story points okay estimation these are estimated points now search search will take more okay a lot of products will be there and all let's say for uh, this uh, development team and uh, product owner has decided to to go with 13 points okay so and few other stories are also there guys every story will be estimated let's say this story some five points randomly i'll give some points for this story guys okay this story let's say three points this story say eight points for this story like that some estimations are going on during the sprint uh, planning meeting this estimations will happen between the product owner and the okay confirmed estimations will be provided to these stories okay by the product owner and the development team will estimate the stories like this so this one will give 30 point 13 points okay done so guys uh, now stories have been estimated also okay different you see all the individual story points are displayed here now uh, in the sprint planning meeting based on this estimated story points okay they will decide how many stories they can complete in uh, the sprint that is first sprint so let's assume that uh, the team development team can complete around uh, you know 16 points not more than 16 points okay so here you see if i add this uh, high priority ones first three are the high priorities and uh, let's say 
8 plus 5 is uh, 13, 13 plus 3 is 16. Okay, if I take one more thing, means it will be too much, right? 29 points. 29 points cannot be completed, let's assume. In that case, with a mutual agreement between the product owner and the development team, they have decided that only these three stories, okay, that is TN4, TN5, TN6 can be completed in the first iteration. They have confirmed. So after that uh, sprint uh, planning, uh, sprint planning meeting, right, uh, based on the decision taken by the development team and product owner, uh, the confirmed list of stories will be moved from the the product owner will move the stories which are confirmed to be done in the sprint one, okay, to the sprint backlog. You see. Product owner is moving the confirmed stories or selected stories to the sprint backlog from the product backlog, four, five, six stories, okay? Out of bunch of stories, out of the bunch of stories, only three stories based on their estimated points and based on their calculations, like only these three stories can be completed based on the discussions happened in the sprint uh, planning meeting. Product owner has moved the uh, a few stories which can be completed in sprint one by the development team to the sprint backlog. Okay. Now, after the required number of stories are moved from the product backlog to the sprint backlog, then the product owner will start the sprint. Okay. He will start the sprint. Right? Click on start sprint. You see, either you can edit these details uh, while creating the sprint or while starting the sprint also, you can edit these details. You can provide these details. Already details are provided, so no problem. Click on start. Done. You see, the moment the product owner started the sprint, you see it has taken uh, the focus to the active sprint, but here product owner is not going to work on this, okay? So product owner is not the one who will work on this. Who has to work on this uh, stories, guys? Developers and testers have to work, right? This particular stories need to be worked by developers and testers. So for that, the admin, so again, go, to, go back to the admin, guys. Admin has already invited, right? The developers and testers to this team, right? Admin has already invited the developers and testers to this team. So you see uh, here, if you come back here, uh, this is the product owner, okay, Tivo Baskar. And now developer is there, tester is there. So let's see, I have got one more. One minute, uh, I'll check my emails, uh, whether I got the emails or not. So this one is already done. Okay, this is Tivo Baskar, done. The next one is uh, another email account. Let's say, this particular account is a developer. Let's use this account for the develop, developer guys, developer account. Copy this, copy this. I'll, I'll, I'll open Edge browser. I'll use Edge browser guys. Paste it here. So now I'm creating an account for the developer guys, okay? So developer has been invited, okay? And uh, for the developer, I'm creating an account. So let's say, Priyanka, I'll say Dev, Dev Priyanka, okay. Now I'll give the password here. And click on sign up. Okay, the account has been created. So we have to go with the normal steps. Again, skip question, skip question. Welcome Dev. Okay, again, skip here. This is a general account process creation process. Okay. Now the developer has landed landed on this active sprint uh, where the developer, okay, developer can see. Okay, this particular developer, Priyanka, can see all these three stories. Okay. So developer will do the development activities on the stories, guys. Okay. So let's write down here about the details of the account. Developer. Okay. So here email address of the developer. This is the email address of the developer. And uh, the, in Edge browser, I am using the developer account, okay? Fine, different browsers, different people are there in my machine now. In the Chrome browser admin account is there. In the Firefox, we have the product owner. In the Edge, we have the developer, okay? Like that, different uh, browsers, different people. So let's uh, start the activities of the developer, guys, okay? Since the developer account is now set up, okay? Using the invitation, okay, developer will select the active sprints, Okay, already active sprints is selected and uh, developer can see three stories here. What is the first thing that developer will do after seeing the stories is for each and every story will create some task. Okay, developer has to create some tasks. So developer will click on this uh, story. Okay, open the story. 
once op one the one of the story for example what is this as a first time visitor to so the e-commerce website i want to register my account so that i can log in register account functionality guys the story related to the register account so here guys a uh, developer has to create the task for this story so for each and every story developer has to create but uh, for example i'll take this story guys and create the task create sub task click on okay here click on create sub task and uh, this section will come and here all the tasks need to be added what are the different tasks that developer can perform on the stories first understanding the requirements okay so here developer will write down all the tasks understanding the requirements so here developer has to either self assign to himself or herself or assign to another developer okay so here let's self assign because here we only have one developer account right so i am just self assigning so dev priyanka has to complete this task like that okay for this particular story this task need to be completed by dev priyanka okay next task design design okay design the requirements create designs for the requirements okay and uh, second one uh, let's assign all it go at the end write code for this requirement for this requirement create multiple sub tasks are being created for the single story guys unit test perform unit testing and integration testing perform unit uh, and in integration uh, testing for this story then other one is uh, fixing the fixing the defects reported against this story okay like this and if any other tasks are there other tasks okay simply say other tasks like this i'll just generically say other tasks okay? now all these tasks will be assigned to the developers okay so developer tasks right sir so select all the develop just select the developer who is going to perform this task as part of the story done so once it is done guys okay so close this you see for this particular story this many tasks are development tasks are there okay refresh this i think all the all should have the developer okay developer has to complete all these tasks for this particular story okay like that for each and every story this task can be added guys okay i am not going to make it complex so only for one story i'll explain for this session so now similarly guys we need to send uh, we have sent an invitation to the tester also the tester account is here so let's see whether we got an email or not email has been a while but email has not come maybe i think it's spam or something yeah here it is sometimes the emails will go to spam guys okay so i'll say sorry how to move it to inbox uh, to i'll say open this and uh, here say report as not spam okay report as not spam and go to the inbox now now it's on the top okay open this and uh, copy this copy link and i'll open this link in one of the opera browsers also here i'll open guys okay i'll open this link here paste and go this opera browser So different browsers for different people okay like that so here i'll give the name of the tester okay this is tester moto okay i'll give short name like moto i give the password and sign up i'm creating the tester account guys okay developer account is created and also developer has created the task for the individual stories already similarly tester has been invited and tester is now creating the account after the tester account is created tester will similarly add the task sub task to the story okay respective stories so skip it everything skip it guys no need to do anything now we are on the tester tester is on the active sprints and uh, what the tester will do is this is the tester profile right uh, tester moto so final one is tester guys some this is the email address i have used 
and this is the opera browser where the tester account is there so same tool but uh, different people are using that's why i cannot use single single uh, browser right that's why i'm using different browsers different uh, roles are using different browsers here okay simple that. and here guys uh, now the tester what he will do is uh, he will also create he will select the story double click on the story and uh, and he will also click on create subtask and uh, he will create that as per himself okay so what will be the general uh, subtask of the testers guys uh, tester also need to understand the requirements understanding the requirements uh, requirements in testing point of view this is one task by the testers and uh, creating test cases is another task creating test cases then the next task is uh, executing the test cases executing the executing test cases is another task then uh, reporting defects reporting defects and uh, retesting retesting fixed defects okay so another task and uh, then so other tasks like automation or testing types etc can be done here okay etc like this several tasks has also been created by the tester also and uh, this task need to be assigned to the tester let's assign all this task to the tester mode only because one tester is there in this jira tool for now but in real time you will have multiple developers and multiple testers in jira tool so since only one tester is there all the testing activities of this particular story are are assigned to the tester okay similarly for this stories also uh, developers can create the task and from their account and testers can create that as uh, for the stories also from their accounts okay respective accounts what next guys okay now whatever the task created by developers and testers right the developers and testers have to start working okay so let's start with the developer guys okay let's start with the developer uh, developer belongs to where developer is on the edge browser so let's go to the edge browser and uh, so first task is understanding the requirements guys okay developers has started understanding the requirements okay for this particular story this story requirements they are understanding developers are developer is understanding okay yes. while understanding this uh, requirements guys uh, double click on this okay so there, this particular sub task will open here so here guys while understanding the requirement uh, the developer has got some doubts okay as a developer okay here he will write the doubts okay so he didn't understand the requirement well so i didn't understand uh, understand this in the uh, requirement could you please explain or provide more details regarding this okay more details about this like this you put a some generic comment guys in real time we can clearly state the comment but uh, since this is a dummy requirement and all okay i'm asking some question okay developer is asking one question because while understanding the requirements he didn't understand something so this this uh, this is a doubt that uh, that has been asked about this particular story as part of the requirement understanding to the product owner who has to who is the correct person to answer this uh, doubt product owner right you see in agile guys the main important thing is uh, very collaborative teams will be there okay unlike traditional projects right in agile the teams are very collaborative that is a product owner scrum master and the development team will be collaboratively working communication is giving higher importance guys okay if required face to face communication also will be there such kind of importance is given to the communication so you can ask anything and the product owner will be there to answer your question doubts and all those stuff okay so product owner is uh, belongs to which account this chrome browser right? uh, no firefox firefox okay let's go to the firefox where the product owner is available and uh, you see let's click on this okay so simply refresh here one came here that's okay here guys uh, okay so here so here guys uh, the product owner okay this is the product owner account right product owner what is the account of the product owner guys let me check again product owner is testing by arun right uh, so let me open the email address of the testing by arun that is product owner email account i let me open here once one minute see if any email has come no email fine no problem emails are kind of delayed it seems uh, generally what happens in real time is uh, here guys uh, 
some notification will come and an email will be sent okay because okay so because uh, the developer okay developer has asked a question and that question that doubt or question right so where did the developer ask the question uh, let's see edge browser go to the edge browser and uh, the edge browser from here the developer has asked the question to whom he has asked he need to set the assignee guys okay if he don't set the assignee then this question will not be sent to the product owner so assign this particular thing understanding the requirement now to the product owner that is po baskar okay so let's assign this the po baskar and close this now immediately now go to the product owner's account this is product owner baskar okay refresh this once and uh, at least this time notification has come or not let's see click on this you see a notification has come right developer priyanka has assigned an issue to you uh, and uh, from here you can open or from there in, from the dashboard also you can open so here product owner will open this particular thing and uh, he will see a question from or doubt from the priyanka and uh, then the product owner has to uh, reply for this okay reply this okay so this is uh, all okay so let me explain this requirement for you in detail okay according to this requirement okay this has to be done okay like that some explanation has been given by the product owner to the developer and uh, uh, let me know if you have any further further doubts on this requirement okay like this okay save done it and now since uh, since the the answer has been given by the product owner to the developer okay now it uh, uh, this product owner baskar will assign it back to the developer okay this particular ticket that's it now fine again click on the active screen to go back now developer account let's go to the developer account and here you see i got a notification and an email also will be sent guys okay if you see the email account you'll get some emails also okay you see email is coming so emails are coming right like that okay emails also will be coming to the respective people so here guys uh, as you can see already i got a notification saying that uh, product owner has replied to your uh, doubt click on that and here you will get the answer okay so the answer given by the product owner will be displayed here you see let me explain this developer will read this and uh, let's assume that the developer has understood the requirement now so since the requirement is completely understood by the developer what the developer will do is from from the developer account developer will move this understanding the requirements to the done state so it's got striked off you see tn-13 got striked off that means it is completed guys this task one of the task under this story has been completed now developer will pick other things like uh, he will he will start designing once he has completed designing developer will move the designing to the right side okay similarly while the developer is understanding this requirement and doing his work guys a tester will not be ideal guys okay the tester also will not be ideal so where is the tech tester account guys a tester account is there here in the opera browser this is a tester tester moto is there okay tester also will will uh, just move the understanding thing if tester is also having some doubts similar way like developer has asked the product owner the doubt and uh, get got the doubt clarified the same thing tester will do if the tester also has understood the requirements he, he or she will move the requirement to the right side okay so now tester will also once the understanding the requirements is done tester has to create the desk i'll explain about this guys creating the desk before that i'll move back to the developer again okay here understanding the requirements uh, developer is uh, designing the requirements and uh, after designing the requirements after the designs are approved by the product owner okay designs will be moved to the done state okay all these things are completing now uh, developer is writing the code while the developer is write, writing the code what the tester is doing is tester has okay has started creating the test cases guys okay this is very important okay creating the test case tester has started on uh, started creating the test case for the stories because tester has understood the requirements so in order to create this uh, test cases guys okay so where where the tester has to create the test cases as part of this uh, subtask of this story where the tester has to create the test case in jira tool as i already mentioned jira tool will not have the test management capabilities okay jira tool only has this kind of agile 
agile process agile management capability will be there by default this kind of features related to agile scrum and all those things will be there in the jira tool but test management capabilities by default will not be there in the jira tool so then how to get the test management capabilities okay way to create the test case in the jira tool for that case guys for that case so we have to switch back to the admin account okay we have to switch back to the admin again this is admin account okay in the chrome browser this is the admin okay this person is admin arun motri myself is admin so here by default by default test management capabilities will not be there in the jira on the top of the jira we have to install something known as zephyr or x-ray right uh, with the help of zephyr and x-ray plugins by installing the zephyr or x-ray plugins on jira we'll get the test management capability how to install okay we'll take zephyr for now how to install zephyr on jira further guys admin okay this this particular activity need to be done by admin only not by uh, product owner or tester or uh, developer okay so installing and setting up the things need to be done by admin that's why we are back to admin account and uh, admin will click on this apps and select find new apps to install that zephyr or x-ray admin has to come to this apps and here search for it says zephyr search for zephyr guys so three zephyr scale and staff pick is here you see zephyr scale is the one which is generally picked up okay these are different variations will be there different uh, either you can use uh, zephyr squad or zephyr enterprise or zephyr scale anything is fine but uh, the for now i will be using the zephyr scale guys okay i'll be using the zephyr scale so so i'll be picking this zephyr scale okay you also try to pick the zephyr scale if it is working otherwise if it's not working for you go for the zephyr squad also no problem but for this session i am going to use zephyr scale okay so here try it free option is coming it's kind of free for uh, after 30 days uh, you will be charged but uh, till then it is free so start free trial i am saying who is doing this activity guys admin is uh, installing this zephyr scale plugin on the top of the jira to get the test management capabilities which will not come by default in jira okay jira only comes up with agile management capabilities on the top of jira we have to install this zephyr to get the test management capabilities also so in a while guys okay in a while uh, uh, zephyr scale will get added and it got added also guys okay now let's go back to the project okay For under the project just select the project guys right go to the project and uh, see whether you got this zephyr scale here earlier zephyr scale was the, not there here now zephyr scale is also added to this project okay now now guys who want this zephyr scale actually test management right this for test management testers generally need that let's go to the tester account this is a tester account refresh this since admin has installed the zephyr zephyr uh, scale plugin so tester also will get this uh, zephyr scale here so here now the tester want to create the test case the current task is creating test cases for that zephyr scale is required so admin he has requested the admin and admin has installed the zephyr scale and now the tester can create the test cases here okay in order to move this activity to the right side tester has to create the test cases for that he will select the zephyr scale okay functionality here which is all about the test management so let's wait uh, sometimes it will not load for the first time guys just refresh here or select it again if it is not loaded properly refresh it again currently disabled for the project is coming say no thanks and uh, we have to go to the project settings guys okay just click on the project settings here Okay, if it's kind of disabled by default, just select the project settings and just turn it on. Remaining all, you don't have to do anything. Okay, again come back to the project. Again back to the project. If it is disabled, just enable that guys. And again click on the Zephyr scale as a software tester. Okay, here uh, we have this particular tester, tester mode. Okay, and uh, now we got the functionality. Okay, so earlier it was disabled. Now we can create the test case. Here you see a lot of things are there on the top. Under the Zephyr scale, either you can create the test cases, we can create the test plans, we can create the test cycles, okay, and reports. We can generate the reports and all. A lot of things are there. First, we'll start with creating the test case because the current task uh, sub task that the tester is working here in the sprint is creating the test case for that particular story that is this account functionality. So select the test here and uh, click on new, guys. Click on new. Here you'll get this kind of test case name you have to give, okay. user okay so uh, verify otherwise verify restring an account by filling only the mandatory fields okay this is one test case okay 
verify registering an account by filling only the tester is creating the test cases guys this is one of the test case first test case okay so here mandatory things i'll provide this name of the test case and uh, status is uh, this one has to be approved guys okay so for now it is in draft state and uh, and priority is uh, this one is of high priority guys okay is of high priority high priority test case component there's no component just leave it who created the test case uh, tester has created the test cases okay remaining all i'll keep it blank and here labels i can create the labels guys this is register account right register account uh, otherwise register register test case okay register that's it so better to organize uh, uh, according to the labels okay so save this this one test case we created and here guys uh, here in this test case guys we can even provide the preconditions and steps okay preconditions and steps we have to provide this name only we created precondition is uh, here precondition i'll write open the application url application url in any supported browser like this and objective is let's write the objective uh, that is steps okay for the testing this particular application navigate to okay otherwise uh, click on my account okay if you if you see this application guys okay i'll i'll take this application as an example so how the step how i am writing the steps okay for example if i have to create an application create an account on this application i have to click on this my account okay if i am not logged in so by default when i open the application url it will be like this and uh, after that if i have to create an account i have to click on this my account and select this register and here i need to fill all these mandatory fields okay so like that i want to write so that's what i am writing here click on my account drop menu and then uh, select after click on my account uh, here i need to select register option so select register option then sorry select the register option after that you will be taken to the register account page that's fine here i need to fill the details enter the mandatory fields enter only the mandatory fields the, uh, circular brackets i'll say that is first name is See all the things that are mentioned with asterisk symbol or nothing but the mandatory things I'll give. First name, last name, then we have email, email, then comma, then we have telephone, telephone, then we have password, 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 confirm. Okay, these are the mandatory fields for now. Okay. And uh, what else? And after this, after giving all these details, uh, we have to select the privacy policy and click on the continue button. Okay. Click on privacy policy checkbox field. And then click on continue button. Okay. Click on continue button, guys. Okay. So, after that what will happen here i have tried that guys okay after you click on the continue button what is expected result expected result is expected result is account should be successfully created for the new user account should be successfully created for the new user user and uh, user should get should get automatically logged in on creating the account okay get logged in okay this is what is a uh, test case i am writing guys preconditions and objective and all those stuff and simply save this guys okay one test case we completed but uh, for this uh, story that is register account story multiple test cases are generally required right multiple test cases are required so we'll go back to the test cases guys okay one test cases we have created here as you can see only one test case of high priority one now let's create one more test case so verify restring verify uh, restring a new account for the user by filling all the details okay by filling all the details this is a second test case again preconditions you have to mention open the application url in any supported browser then steps for the 
steps for this test case, guys. Okay, steps for the test case. Okay, uh, click on same steps, guys. Click on my account, drop menu. I'll be writing bit fast. Click on uh, select register option, then enter, enter valid details into all the fields click on continue button otherwise here select privacy policy checkbox field click on continue button and expected result you write expected result same expected result guys uh, that is a uh, user account account should be successfully created and user should get user should get automatically magically logged in okay logged in now like this uh, multiple test cases can be created again it, this is the draft state only okay so this need to be approved this need to be approved guys okay uh, here uh, this is also kind of high priority for me. And who created? Tester has created that. Labels I'll give register, same label register, already register is coming, select that. Click on save. Now go to the test cases. Like this, we have to create multiple test cases, guys. Uh, I'll not be writing the test cases in depth now, but uh, at a high level, I'll be writing for now. Just titles of the test cases I'll be writing. So next, next case can be verify registering an account by not filling any fields okay like this another test case like this another test case guys so here register the label and save this i'm not feeling the generally you have to fill the preconditions and objectives just uh, to save time i'm not doing that guys okay i'm just uh, creating them at a high level the next one verify registering a duplicate account duplicate account by providing a duplicate email address okay so when you try to create a duplicate account it should not happen right okay that that's what is the test case all about okay so here uh, register like this uh, the tester can create any number of test cases guys okay the tester can create any number of uh, test cases i'll create view more test cases uh, uh, verify creating an account or registering an account verify registering an account by providing an invalid invalid telephone number invalid telephone number so here also register test case only register save this another test case i'll create like invalid email address like this a lot of test cases will come guys like 20 25 for this application right whatever that i am showing if you create completely 27 test cases around 27 to 30 will come okay so you have to create all the test cases i am not showing you all the 30 test cases but a uh, very general test case i am writing okay verify registering an account by providing an invalid email address okay email address here also i'll say register select the register register done save it so let's say these are the sample test cases i have created guys okay you can actually create even more test cases for this register account for that particular application you can create more even more test cases guys but for now i created these test cases that's fine so guys now since the tester has uh, created the test cases what the tester will do is he will go to the active sprints again okay in sapphire test management tool he has created the test cases here he'll open and he'll not move this uh, particular subtask to the right side immediately we'll double click here and he will say that once he has done creating the test cases, all the test cases for the register account, he will write a comment here, okay? Created all the test cases, okay? Required for the register account functionality. Required for testing the register account functionality as part of this story as part of the story as part of this story like this he'll write it so 
please review this review and feedback like this he'll create the comment okay and uh, you need to assign this to the product owner okay who, who knows the business who need to approve this test cases product owner so you need to assign this particular task up to the product owner okay done now the time turn comes to the product owner guys okay the product owner that is a uh, po basker what he will do is uh, he will already get a notification guys okay just uh, mode tester moto has assigned an issue to you just uh, about the test cases so so this particular product owner will go to this and uh, the product owner will see this comment okay that uh, uh, this particular tester has created the test cases for this particular story okay review so product owner will go to the the fire where the test cases are created by the tester so after going to the zephyr scale let's wait okay so the test, test cases came guys what are the test cases created by the tester came so the product owner will review all the test cases and uh, one by one okay, let me open this open this product owner will verify all the uh, all the test cases created by the tester okay and uh, change the status from if, if the test uh, cases are okay approve the test cases that's it okay save like this each and every test case the product owner has to approve since the product owner knows the business will you see approved status is changed similarly next one i'll see if there is any option to approve like this so that uh, okay no next one guys next one i'll go this is the next one i'll click on this as a product owner product owner is approving the test cases created by the tester guys okay all the test cases created by the tester are being approved by the product owner or if the test cases are not, not good the product owner will reject i am not showing the rejecting because we don't have so much of time so fine save approved next like this let the product owner approve all the test cases done fourth uh, last two test cases are there to be approved let's let the product owner approve this test cases also approved next test case last one so fine approved and save then all the test cases got approved by the product owner so once uh, the test cases are approved the product owner will come here and uh, so this is the one right so you click on this one and uh, product owner will come and reply here okay the product owner will reply here guys saying reviewed all the test cases and they look good no more changes required no changes required okay no changes required uh, hence approved like this some comments product owner will write and say and uh, assign this uh, product owner will assign this uh, sub task back to the <coughs> where is the tester guys okay, tester motor okay tester motor done done that's it again go to the active sprints again the tester has to look here come back here and uh, tester got a notification already that uh, regarding this one email also will be received by the email email account of the tester guys fine fine based on that we will come and check this uh, sub task and okay done so since it is done guys since the test cases are approved what the product uh, what the tester will do here is tester will simply move this creating test cases task to the right side okay now now guys let, let's go to the developer for a while okay let's go to the developer for a while this is the developer okay this is a developer account so let's say developer has a uh, inval developer has uh, written the code for that and uh, this uh, perform perform unit testing and integration testing is also done by the developer now yeah fine that's what is the process otherwise uh, developer is actually working on this unit testing and integration testing at this time at this stage now what the <clears throat> and completed also okay let's say performing unit testing and integration testing is also done now now the tester 
now the tester has to so where is the tester account this is the tester account so that now the tester what he will do is once the application code is implemented for the functionality and the unit testing and integration testing are done now the tester can test this functionality right tester will start testing this okay so executing the test cases okay so simply saying executing the test cases so what the tester has to do as part of executing the test cases again tester while working on this executing test cases subtask will go to this zephyr scale okay the fire scale tester has gone to the zephyr scale here and all these test cases are there tester will go to this cycles and create a new test cycle click on create new tester will create the test cycle here and give the cycle name testing the application on application on version 1 okay testing the register okay register functionality register account functionality functionality of the application on version 1 like this and save this create a test cycle like this and to this particular to this particular test cycle the tester will create add the test cases okay click on add test case all the test cases created by the tester will come here let's say these are all the test cases related to the these are all the test cases related to the register functionality only right so all the test cases tester will add to that test cycle you see this test cycle is there save it now go to the test cycle what the tester will do is tester will perform testing execute the test cases okay so for that he created the test cycle test cycle is there now tester will click on this test cycle and uh, you see the test cases will come like this one by one and tester has to start testing here okay the tester has to start testing here so tester will test this guys okay verify using a duplicate account by providing a duplicate email address so he will perform testing on the application let's say tester is performing the application here he'll try to create an account with the duplicate email address let's say this uh, email address is already there okay this email address is already there like that uh, same email address this email address were already used for creating an account on this application the same email address the tester is using to create an account again there is a duplicate account is trying to create and uh, you see email address is all so the test is passed okay this one is passed right uh, tester is uh, that is that means the user is unable to create a duplicate account which is as expected okay so we are getting a proper message so here the tester has to pass the test case so how to pass the test case guys somewhere here the okay tester has tested this and uh, there are no defects here no issues nothing click on this you see click on this uh, arrow mark it will be passed next one next test case tester has started testing the next test case verify issuing a new account for user by filling all the details okay by creating all the details the account is getting created let's assume the tester has tested this uh, application and with all the details is able to create an account so like this if i show you I'll create an account, guys. Okay, Jan two zero two two at the rate gmail dot com, and uh, with new email with all valid details. Okay, I'm creating an account as part of testing that particular test case. Like this, tester is testing the test cases, guys. Okay. Second test, you see, account got created here. That means uh, this particular test case is also passed by following the steps he has done. will pass this test case like that each and every test case he will verify uh, only mandatory fields this one is also passing let's see tester has passed this now fourth one verify registering an account by not filling any fields what will happen if the tester try to create an account without filling any details let's see so click on continue without filling any details you see proper validation messages are coming or not tester is checking yes all the messages came properly so this particular test case is also passed next one verify Registering an account by providing an invalid email address. Let's try to create an account by providing an invalid email address. Okay, all the details I'll give. Valid details, but except uh, email address, email address I'll give later. All the remaining things I'll give valid things. Okay, all the remaining things I'll give valid things as part of testing. And uh, okay, but email address, what I will do is I'll give some invalid email address. You see, at the rate symbol is not there. Click on continue. You see, please include at the rate is coming. What if I give at the rate and if I not don't finish, okay? Please enter a part, okay? Like the e email address is not being accepted, guys. Invalid email address is not accepting. 
So if I give a valid email address, then two six two zero two two. Now create. Okay. So only valid email addresses are being accepted. So this one is pass. I'll pass this test case also. Now one more test case is there here, guys. Let's run this test case also. Final test case. Verify registering an account by providing an invalid telephone number. Okay. We are. So here while creating an account, we have to provide invalid telephone number. Let's try. Easter. I'll give the details here again. Then email address I'll give. Valid email address. That's fine. Email address uh, Jan. Okay. Two six zero one two zero two two at the red gmail dot com. Some random email address I'm giving, which is kind of valid anyhow. But telephone number I have to give invalid, guys. Okay. Remaining all valid I have to give. But telephone number I have to give invalid. So generally, telephone number will be in numbers, right? But I'll give alphabets. Okay, A B C D E. I'll give. You see, this is all. This should not be accepted by right. This should not be accepted. So guys, uh, whether it will be accepted or not, let's see. Okay, click on continue. You see, it's being accepted. That's a problem. That means there is a defect, right? Now, as part of testing this particular test case, tester has to report a defect, right? Because while registering an account, invalid telephone number is being accepted. So how to report a defect, guys? Here. There's a section known as issues. Click on plus. Create a issue, okay? Or you don't want to create from here. You can also create from here, guys. Click, click on create and select a bug here. That's also fine. But I'll create from here, guys. This is a better way. Create issue. Select this as bug, and uh, give the details. User, okay, can register an account by okay. User can create an account. Can create an account by providing, okay, invalid phone number, okay. Invalid phone number is being accepted. Being I like this also. You can write guys, okay. Being accepted by the application. Application while registering an account, okay. Like this, also you can create a defect. And here I will say steps to reproduce. Steps to reproduce. What are the steps, guys? I'll write the steps here. First step is open the application URL in any browser, say Chrome. Uh, click on My Account drop menu. Then Select register option, then fill all the fill valid details, valid details into all the fields, into all the fields except telephone field. Enter invalid telephone number say. A B C D E into the telephone field. Now select privacy policy checkbox checkbox field. Click on submit button. Okay, and uh, steps to reproduce. And here I'll write the expected result. Expected result is. Okay. Expected result is user account should not be created. Instead, okay, and instead a warning message informing the user to provide a valid telephone number. Should be displayed. This is expected result, but what is actually happening? Actual result is what? Actual result is this is the expected result, but actual result is user account is getting created with the provided with the given invalid telephone number like this. This is actual result. Okay, uh, please check the attached screenshot. You can also attach a screenshot, guys. Okay, for this.
like this. So reporter is uh, this person and uh, okay, so reporter is this version and uh, priority priority is a kind of uh, I'll I'll just think this as a kind of low priority on only guys this one this is not a burning issue that's okay labels we have the register label here okay i'll add the register label and here environment uh, uh okay all environments okay observed in all environments observed in all environments then here i need to attach the screenshot guys okay which version is affected version one is affected of the software and attachment i have to give a screenshot here so let's take a screenshot here of the application where you are getting the defect so go to the register page and here i'll give the details here some details some email address and telephone number i'll give abcd So I'm going. I'm showing the complete process, guys. Okay. So I know that this is hectic, but uh, this is the way. So here I need to take the screenshot, guys. Okay. For this application, I need to take the screenshot. I'll take the screenshot using the software. I'll take the screenshot. Like this, I'll mark it out and say invalid uh, telephone number. Telephone number is being accepted by this field. Okay. Like this, I'll create a screenshot. I'll save the screenshot somewhere on my machine. Okay, so invalid telephone number okay register account like this i'll give some valid name to the image and i'll go to the bug and here i'll attach the report okay. browse i'll attach the bug report this is the report guys this is the screenshot i got and uh, this is coming in version one of the software and uh, i can attach the epic also this epic this particular epic it is related to uh, in sprint one i am i found this particular defect and i am assigning this particular Defect to a developer, okay. I need to assign this defect to a developer, guys. I'll assign this to the developer. So issue, no issue. Okay, what is the issue? Yeah, this one. I want to the story related, okay. Story you can attach the story here as part of the issue. And simply say create, guys. Okay, I have reported the defect. Since the defect is reported now, okay. The defect has been reported, and uh, you see. It's kind of a fail, okay? If I select this, it's a fail. Now, guys, after testing all the defects, okay, so you see, uh, it's not 100% pass. Uh, you see, five passed and one fail, right? Five passed and one fail. Now, guys, what happens next? If you go to this active sprints, you cannot move the executing test cases to the right side because uh, while executing the test cases, you got a defect, okay? That defect has been added here, you see, onto this uh, sprint board. Okay, onto the sprint board, scrum board, you see that whatever the defect you have reported here, invalid phone number is being accepted by the application while this account is being displayed here, okay? So now the turn is uh, related to the developer, guys, okay? So here you'll write a comment in the executing the test cases, okay? Okay, uh, while, while testing, while testing the story, okay, uh, I came, uh, I came across, okay, while testing this story, I have reported the below defect, okay. I have reported a defect uh, or reported the below defect. And you can provide the defect details, defect details here. Please, please check and fix, okay. Like that, some comment for the developer you have to provide, and uh, assign it to the developer. That is Joe Priyanka. Okay, done. Close this. Then developer. This is the developer account. 
developer got the notification and developer uh, will open this and check that okay this particular tester okay developer will come to know that a tester has reported a defect acceptance story okay so she will go uh, here she will go to the active sprints here and uh, this is the defect right so she will check the details of the defect the developer will check the defects of that okay this is what is the defect this is the screenshot everything will be checked so to fix that the developer will move this uh, defect into the in progress and let's say the developer has fixed this particular defect okay has worked and uh, changed the code accordingly and fixed the defects once the defect has been fixed once the defect has been fixed here the developer will say that this defect is now fixed in version 2 okay version 2 of the software version please retest please retest on version 2 okay like that developer has fixed the defect again the developer will assign the defect back to the tester okay done now guys one more thing we have to do guys that is uh, as a product owner okay here we have to create a uh, version let's create few more versions for the version 2 for now okay let's say version 2 is now created the application code has been created for version 2 let's say now the tester tester got a notification that developer has fixed the defect okay so the tester will open the defect perform retesting of the defect on this uh, version 2 okay on the version 2 the tester has retested the defect and uh, tester identified that this particular defect is not fixed okay this defect is still reproducing in version 2 please fix please fix okay please check and fix like this and assign it back to the developer if the defect is not fixed sorry, developer like this now developer what the developer will do developer again has to check this and uh, okay have checked and fixed this defect in version 3 okay like this now again the turn comes right the turn comes here uh, version 3 let's create done again the term uh, turn comes for the software tester guys where the tester has to okay recheck this Go to the sprint, active sprints. Again, open the defect. I think the uh, de developer has not assigned the defect. Okay, let's assign the defect back to the tester. Guys. So here, assign it back to the tester. After writing the comment, developer has to assign it back to the tester. Okay. Now the tester will get this notification. Click on this. And uh, the tester this time will retest the defect and let's assume that the tester has found that in version 2 this particular defect has been fixed and it's not reproducing so now the tester will write the comment here retested this defect on version 3 of the software version 3 of the application and found that it is fixed it is fixed by developers okay it is fixed otherwise it is fixed hence closing this defect okay and it's closing this defect like this he'll put a comment and uh, simply the tester will move this particular defect to the right side you see it will get striked off and since the pending defect for this test case is done okay now tester will go to the test cases and he'll check the test cases again okay you'll retest the test case again and as part of retesting as part of retesting guys tester will this time this particular defect was failing earlier right this particular test case now this time since the defect is fixed he'll pass the test case and now all the test cases will verify in the version 3 and after that if all the test cases are passed on the version 3 like this complete 100 percent six out of six are passed then tester will come back to the active sprints and he will move this good test case to the right side okay now 
this is also done fixing the defects is done okay reporting and retesting the defects is also done by the tester uh, any other tasks are also done by the tester here developer also is done with all the tasks okay no more tasks are uh, left out guys all the tasks are completed as part of this story and uh, now i got a dialogue okay once i move all these things to the done state the story need to be completed right this tn4 story can we move it to down done yes update tn is striked off okay similarly let's assume that this story is also completed in similar fashion the remaining stories are also completed let's assume okay let's assume that the, all the remaining stories are also completed so guys uh, this will this will come to the end of the sprint guys uh, now what will happen at this situation is after all the stories got moved to the done state then what will happen in the project is now after all the stories have been moved to the done state then the development team uh, that is dev team or developers team that is developers and testers have to demo these stories to the product owner right as part of which meeting is sprint review meeting okay as part of the sprint review meeting the development team that is testers and developers have to demonstrate or showcase the completed stories like this if the stories are completed here you see the sto all the stories are currently completed right complete sprint board is all the stories in the sprint board has been now moved to the done state at this stage guys the development team that is testers and developers have to demonstrate or showcase the completed stories to the pro product owner for approval if the product owner approves all the stories okay then the development team can now check the reports okay we can now check the reports you see there is a report section here the development team and testing team let's go to the tester account and check the reports guys let's see what reports are there and you see there are different reports possible here so what are the different reports here you see there is a burn down chart this this burn down chart will be checked by the scrum master in every daily stand up meeting right uh, daily scrum master scrum meeting or daily stand up meeting right so this burn down chart will be checked here this is not uh, the in real this will not happen guys this kind of burn down chart will not get you see this ideal one whereas you completed all the things on a one day okay as part of uh, because this session i cannot record for multiple days right that's why all the stories have been completed in single day but in reality this uh, red color will come up and down about this uh, gray gray line okay so that is the reality this is the burn down chart guys ideal working and uh, actual working okay the red color thing is the actual working okay so there is nothing left out in a single day we completed that's not the actual ideal case anyhow this is only for demonstration this is the burn down chart guys that uh, the <clears throat> scrum master will check and similarly what testers will check is the uh, testers will check this uh, reports in zephyr okay we uh, testers will go to the zephyr scale and uh, here there is a report the fire scale will get some reports guys let's go to the reports here you see report section is there click on the reports test execution reports and here summary reports are there click on the summary reports and click on generate here the summary reports of the testers will be generated you see overall progress is six out of six uh, completed okay six out of six test cases have been completed complete progress testing is completed for this print okay complete testing is uh, done for the sprint and uh, all the test cases got executed and uh, one one defect got reported and that has been fixed okay reporting during the testing is one defect okay even you can get more reports also guys okay these are not realistically they are coming in real time you will get a proper reports here okay fine guys so testers will check these reports scrum master will check their reports different roles will check their reports okay and many other things are possible guys okay we finally came to the end of the jira tool this is how the things happen in jira guys okay in jira tool this is how the things will happen okay real time different roles will be there like a uh, product owner scrum master development team testers okay everyone will be working as a collaborative way okay so this kind of thing happens in jira and jira is an agile management tool and uh, by default it doesn't have the test management tool to as i showed you in the session right to get the test management capabilities on the top of the jira we have to install zephyr or x-ray plugins in this session i've showed you the zephyr plugin okay as part of demonstration so guys this is a complete session on jira agile management tool a detailed complete easy and from scratch tutorial for beginners guys so hope you like this session guys thank you bye